Chapter 3541 Long Chen finally saw a volcano with hundreds of heavenly flame spirits concentrated on top of it. They were all obediently kneeling around the mouth of the volcano, absorbing flaming lava that was slowly flowing out of it. The lava had countless runes within it, and its flame energy was incomparably pure. It was definitely a great tonic for the heavenly flame spirits. Kuo Linger's eyes also lit up when she saw that lava. She told Long Chen that the runes inside of it were very pure, and she could absorb it freely. Lava gushed out constantly. There were dozens of heavenly flame spirits, with five kinds of runes on their bodies right at the mouth of the volcano. Behind them were a group of heavenly flame spirits with four kinds of runes. Clearly, the strongest heavenly flame spirits occupied the best spots. The weaker ones could only eat what the others left behind. Although there were many heavenly flame spirits, they still didn't manage to eat it all. The lava flowed down, and Long Chen saw a large group of people using a formation to absorb the remaining lava, extracting those rooms. Within that group, Long Chen saw Zhao Mengxuan, Wu Yang, and hundreds of other experts. They had set up a huge formation that covered all of them. They were quietly absorbing those flame runes that flowed past them. Other than them, many other life forms in the surroundings of the volcano were also absorbing the flame runes that gushed out of this volcano. Everyone was in tacit agreement not to attack each other here, just like the heavenly flame spirits. They were all afraid of breaking this fragile peace. If those heavenly flame spirits were to be provoked, they would have to flee. Right now, they were eating food from the tiger's mouth, so they were paying constant attention to the heavenly flame spirits. They were also watching the volcano's eruption tempo. If it started to drop, they would immediately flee in case the heavenly flame spirits decided that they were more appetizing. It could be said that every single one of them was walking on thin ice. Eating this kind of meat was truly nerve-wracking. By the time Long Chen arrived, there were already tens of thousands of experts standing around this giant volcano. There were no longer a spots. The life forms of the various races had occupied the best spots away from the heavenly flame spirits, leaving only some corners and edges with a few flame rooms. Ha ha ha! A group of fellows with no morals are actually picking through the dregs of what the heavenly flame spirits eat. Isn't that embarrassing? Long Chen appeared, laughing up in the sky at these people. This place was originally very quiet, with only the sound of the lava flowing. Hence, this shout made everyone jump. Some of them almost fled. It was only when they saw that the heavenly flame spirits were ignoring Long Chen and still devouring those flame runes that they relaxed. But there was already cold sweat on their foreheads. Just now, they had been given quite the fright. They all glared furiously at Long Chen. Zhao Mingxuan and the others' killing intent instantly exploded when they saw Long Chen. But they knew that now wasn't the time to kill Long Chen. They could only endure. What are you looking at me for? You lack the ability to eat meat, so you eat the crap coming out of people's butts. Can it be that others can't point that out? Sneered Long Chen disdainfully. Just like that, he swaggered straight toward the mouth of the volcano from the sky. That made everyone's expression change. Stop right there. You idiot! If you disturb them, none of us will get any benefits, shouted one life form furiously. When you're just trying to make great content at Navaloon, come you're the idiot. Your whole family is idiots. Who do you think I am? I am Boss Long San. When Boss San arrives, the lands quake and the heavens howl. When Boss San leaves, ghosts sob and gods weep. Who can possibly stop Boss San's footsteps? Some little heavenly flame spirits, let alone a fifth heaven stage world king heavenly flame spirit, even a divine venerate heavenly flame spirit was subdued by Boss San. 
all of you shut your mouths why does a summer bug dare to talk long chen sneered he had reached the area surrounded by heavenly flame spirits the laws of the heavenly Daos had started to change there so long chen couldn't fly in the air any longer he walked right past a giant flame lizard his actions caused quite a few people to turn green the cautious people were already leaving afraid that long chen would anger these heavenly flame spirits implicating all of them stop people continued to roar at him long chen had reached the area of the heavenly flame spirits that was the current above all of them so absorbing the flame runes there was better but long chen still wasn't satisfied and continued onward seeing long chen arrogantly swaggering on top of the lizard's back not being careful at all countless people's eyes almost popped out fortunately that lizard remained focused on absorbing the flame runes and ignored long chen everyone then sighed with relief however their gazes were as sharp as blades when they looked at Long Chen now. If looks could kill, Long Chen would have died countless times already. A group of cowards. Seeing how frightened those people were, Long Chen displayed a disdainful expression toward them. He then continued onward, jumping onto another flame beast's body before continuing to walk to the mouth of the volcano. This bastard, what is he trying to do? Everyone was enraged. Long Chen had walked to the largest flow of lava. Its current was the one that flowed to Zhao Mingxuan and the other's area. That should be the strongest place. Yet, he was still walking forward. Suddenly, Long Chen came to a stop. Everyone sighed with relief, but Zhao Mingxuan and the other's expressions changed. Long Chen was going to stop their current. However, what infuriated them even more than that was that Long Chen actually didn't absorb those flame runes. Instead, he pulled down his pants and directly pissed into the current. Seeing this, Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others were so enraged that veins almost popped on their foreheads. This goddamn bastard, I'll kill him! Flames raged in Wu Yang's eyes. Long Chen was intentionally humiliating them. However, at this point, Long Chen had reached the mouth of the volcano. There were Fifth Heaven Stage World King Heavenly Flame Spirits all over here. If they attacked now, it would be sending themselves to their deaths. They would only attack if they wanted to die along with Long Chen. Clearly, they were unwilling to do such a thing so they could only endure. However, they were reaching their limit. Long Chen hadn't really damaged their lava current. The pee nearly caused some steam on the lava, but it was still disgusting to think about it. If they continued to absorb it, wouldn't it be like drinking his pee? If that spread, wouldn't they be laughed at to death? Let's go switch locations. We'll go take a look. Seeing that Long Chen was still safe and sound, Zhao Mingxuan clenched his teeth. Together with the others, they gave up this excellent location and walked upward. When they gave up their spot, countless life forms quickly took it over, not standing on courtesy. But some were so brazen as to climb up as well. Oh, uh, what are you lot thinking? Long Chen suddenly shouted, and the immense sound shook the heavens, causing the void to rumble. Countless expert hearts almost leaped out of their chests. Without even thinking about it, countless people fled. Chapter 3542 Long Chen's roar seemed to have prodded a beehive, so countless people fled for their lives. That loud sound would definitely disturb all the heavenly flame spirits. Navaloon come, however, after running, they found that although many of the heavenly flame spirits had moved, there was nothing else. They were still absorbing the runes. This bastard, just wait, I'll definitely kill you sooner or later. People were enraged. Instead of absorbing the flame runes himself, Long Chen just made it so that others didn't absorb them. It was absolutely hateful. Most importantly, with Long Chen here, who dared to relax and absorb the runes, 
only some brazen people saw some clues the heavenly flame spirits here viewed absorbing these flame runes as the highest priority and were ignoring them even the ruckus that long chen made didn't stop them that signified that as long as they didn't attack there would be no danger as a result people started to emulate long chen starting to climb to the waist of the mountain however they were far more careful than him when they got close to those heavenly flame spirits they didn't even dare to make any big movements as they had guessed these heavenly flame spirits continued to ignore them furthermore absorbing the flame runes here was even more effective these currents of lava had been flowing for a while as time passed the runes inside them diminished even so these people got to absorb even more now however they were very cautious merely absorbing from this outer edge and not daring to enter deeper that was because if they went any deeper they would have no chance of escaping if something happened most importantly they were afraid of long chen in their eyes long chen was a madman constantly courting death in flashy ways no one knew when he would go crazy again if those heavenly flame spirits were really enraged by long chen they would be implicated and would also die that would be too a grieving of a death those who had managed to come here were all powerful experts they dared to eat food right out of the tiger's mouth because they all had confidence in themselves but there was a difference between confidence and madness should we go to the mouth as well wu yang looked at long chen who was standing on the head of a heavenly flame spirit peering into the mouth of the volcano he seemed lost in thought we can't this bastard has too many treacherous tricks he might be intentionally baiting us over when we go he'll unleash an attack that enrages all the heavenly flame spirits being attacked by so many fifth heaven stage worlds king heavenly flame spirits is too dangerous said zhao mingxuan last time he was already conned by long chen a fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirit had attacked him with all its power if he hadn't had a divine item to protect him he would already be dead now that he saw long chen again he wanted to tear him apart but he didn't let his anger overwhelm his head having been conned he had experience he felt that it was better to be safer other people were being careful but long chen wasn't the slightest bit worried ever since receiving ad gong's reminder and being bestowed the golden lotus seed he seemed to have returned to the long chen that had first set out on a journey with little snow the time when he was heading to the chuanchen monastery he had been full of confidence in himself feeling himself to be capable of anything he didn't know what fear was he had returned to his brazen character doing whatever he wanted after scaring everyone with a roar he climbed up on the head of a bull-shaped heavenly flame spirit from its head he peered down and found that the volcano was like a gushing spring lava was constantly coming from below at the core of this spring was a giant egg-shaped rock that was constantly rolling that rock was covered in strange marks it can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon kam huo linger that seems to be the legendary heavenly flame crystal but its shape isn't quite the same take a look said long chen huo longer transformed into a flame dragon and carefully swam through the lava and toward that rock she quickly sent back a delighted transmission big brother long chen it really is a heavenly flame crystal the fluctuations are the exact same but the heavenly flame crystals are inside this rock i can sense many of them yet i can't absorb them without breaking the rock suddenly that giant rock sank down huo linger was startled and moved to grab it don't rush use your split bodies to investigate the situation underground said long chen huo linger immediately transformed into hundreds of small flame dragons that swam beneath the core of the volcano after a while she sent back an overjoyed message 
begged brother Long Chen. There are these rocks everywhere down below. Hundreds of them. Many of them are actually scattered heavenly flame crystals. Heavenly flame crystals were crystals condensed from heavenly flame energy. They only existed in legends. Although Long Chen had read countless books, he still knew very little about them. Very quickly, Huo Linger returned and Long Chen saw a fist-sized blood-colored crystal in her hand. It was pure flame energy inside. A single crystal was just like a small volcano. If it was detonated, its power would be astonishing. Huo Linger, what's wrong? Long Chen suddenly sensed an oddity in Huo Linger's spiritual fluctuations. I suddenly feel a wave of dizziness. The lava's flame energy seems to be toxic, said Huo Linger, a bit unsure. Toxic? Long Chen looked at the motionless, heavenly flamed spirits around him and instantly understood. It seems that these fellows are being poisoned as they absorb this energy. They are absorbing it while resolving the toxins. That's why they are ignoring me unless their lives are threatened. Huo Linger was also a spiritual body and could be poisoned just like these heavenly flame spirits. But the human race was different. They were only absorbing the purest essence of these flames. It was slower, but any parts that could harm them were rejected. On the other hand, a spiritual body consumed energy in great gulps, using their body to expel the parts that could harm them. This was why they could be poisoned. After thinking it through, Long Chen said, I'll merge my spiritual strength with you and deal with the poison. You can then take the phoenix blood heavenly silk net down and dredge up the heavenly flame crystals. We have to take all the treasures before those fellows notice. Huo Linger was not one entity with Long Chen. She was independent. It was only when Long Chen used ultimate flame moves that she merged with him, and only in that state would both of them share wounds. As expected, after merging, Long Chen also sensed a strange energy starting to invade his soul. It was burning his soul. As a spiritual body, Hua Linger's spiritual strength wasn't powerful. On the other hand, Long Chen's spiritual strength was as vast as a sea, so this little wound was nothing to him. He could endure it easily. With her limited energy, Huo Linger was only able to use the phoenix blood heavenly silk knit to pull up one rock at a time. Long Chen then helped her put it in the primal chaos space. In the primal chaos space, under the light of the golden lotus seed, that rock instantly shattered. Millions of heavenly flame crystals then clattered on the ground. Damn, we're rich! Long Chen was shocked and delighted. He had Huo Linger continued dredging them up. Uh, Long Chen suddenly noticed that Zhao Mingxuan and the others started to creep forward stealthily. Originally, they had stopped in the outer region, but it seemed that they had sensed something. Suddenly, a powerful explosion made everyone jump. They then saw Long Chen standing atop the bolt-shaped heavenly flame spirit, striking a golden gong viciously. The sound truly shook heaven and earth. Wake up. Sleepy time is over. Quick, people are trying to snatch your meat. In front of countless horrified gazes, Long Chen repeatedly struck his gong. Chapter 3543 Long Chen repeatedly struck his gong, causing a sound that was so loud that it hurt people's ears. For such a sound to ring out just as everyone was acting carefully infuriated countless experts. They were all afraid of Long Chen waking up those heavenly flame spirits. Look at all you cowards. My life is at risk too, but you don't see me afraid. What are you so afraid of? Just look. These heavenly flame spirits won't wake up no matter how loud of a ruckus you make. Are any of you men? Come and see the scenery around me. Why can't you be like Boss San and piss on top of the head of a fifth heaven stage world King Heavenly Flame's spirit? If you record it with a photographic jade, 
Then once you leave the heavenly flame world, you can leave this photographic jade to your descendants to show just how badass you were back in the day. Long Chen snorted disdainfully at them. After Long Chen said this, quite a few people were moved. If they recorded themselves in similar spots as where Long Chen was, then once they spread it, it would definitely cause huge waves. The cultivation world cared more about reputation than anything. If they really managed to record themselves in such a badass scene, they would be able to brag about it for a lifetime. As a result, quite a few people really carefully crept on top of the heads of these heavenly flame spirits and activated photographic jades to record just how heroic they were. How shameless! Is a fourth heaven stage heavenly flame spirit worthy of you? Can't you get some bitter guts and be like Boss San? Long Chen sneered at them, occasionally glancing at Zhao Mingxuan and the others. They had noticed something off with him, and they felt like he might have seen a treasure. Although they were afraid of Long Chen conning them, in the end, skillful people had the biggest guts. They had trump cards and numbers on their side. After discussing it, they decided to go take a look. Just as they were stealthily creeping forward, Long Chen so brazenly invited everyone to come. Hence, they hesitated slightly. After all, they knew too little about Long Chen. They didn't know just what kind of medicine he had in his board. If it was just one or two, or even three or four fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits, perhaps they wouldn't mind. They could just run. But there were too many of them here. Once they would crazy. In the chaos, no one could guarantee that they would escape alive. What cowards! Let me tell you, there are many treasures up here. If you still don't come, I'm going to take them all myself, declared Long Chen, looking at Zhao Mingxuan and the others a bit impatiently. How could someone like Long Chen not know what Zhao Mingxuan and the others were thinking? They were suspicious that there were treasures here. But Long Chen wasn't afraid. If they dared to come up, he would attack these heavenly flame spirits. With so many of them erupting at once, as he had the lightning body blink, he would be the only one with the assurance of escaping unscathed. If he couldn't obtain something, then no one else should get it either. Ants, Long Chen was particularly fearless, and this fearlessness made the others even more worried. Zhao Mingxuan and the others continued to hesitate. I suspect that he is trying to scare us off. Perhaps he really is stealthily taking the good stuff right now, said one of the heavenly geniuses. A slightly sharp light glinted in his eyes. Clearly, he was very confident in himself. He felt that if Long Chen wasn't afraid, then they had nothing to fear either. Long Chen might just be bluffing, or maybe he was double bluffing. But who cared? They had so many people. They had to take the risk. In the worst case scenario, they would simply end up in a life and death situation. They would see just who managed to survive then. I think he is being deliberately mystifying. In my opinion, it's better for the others to retreat while the thirteen of us attack together. Whether or not there are any treasures, killing Long Chen is the first thing to do. I can't stand him, said Wu Yang. That's right, we'll attack together. We all have trump cards, so who is afraid of him? The other agreed with this thought. They very quickly made their move. Other than thirteen heavenly geniuses, the other experts that belonged to their powers stealthily retreated. As for the other life forms, seeing this scene, they smelled something off and also began to withdraw. Seeing Zhao Mingxuan and the others' actions, Long Chen sneered. Guo Linger was busily gathering those stone eggs. Just now, the final one was pulled in, and everything down below was now empty. Guo Linger, what do you think? Can we eliminate a few of them? asked Long Chen. Probably not. Using the phoenix blood, heavenly silk net used up quite a bit of my core energy. I only have about 70% of my combat strength left. In the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk Net's damaged state, 
using it takes too much energy. It doesn't seem to be the right time to fight them now, said Huo Linger. Only then did Long Chen recall that the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk Net was damaged. Although it was capable of repairing itself, the process still required some time. Using it in this state would only be half as effective. Thus, Huo Linger said that now wasn't a good time. But, looking at their arrogant faces makes me really irritated. Long Chen crossed his arms across his chest, rubbing his chin with a hand. Looking at Zhao Mingchuan and the others, he frowned. He disliked them. At the same time, they also didn't like him. In their eyes, Long Chen was a hateful hopping clown. In the fallen immortal pavilion and the wine god palace, they had lost all their faces in front of fairy King Shuan. That was the greatest humiliation of their lives. Now that the Soaring Dragon Company had announced a bounty on him, they had a righteous reason to kill him. They were the ones who wanted him dead the most. Thus, even though there were so many heavenly flame spirits in the surroundings, they were going to attack. They would see if they could kill Long Chen and prove just how much they hated him. The others quickly scattered. Zhao Mingxuan and the others started to creep toward Long Chen, and they clenched their weapons. Just then, all the heavenly flame spirits slowly woke from their slumber. Zhao Mingxuan and the others' killing intent disturbed them. Attack! Zhao Mingxuan roared, and his manifestation appeared. After that, endless killing intent locked down on Long Chen, and a blazing divine flame spear pierced toward him. Do you think that I'll attack just because you tell me to? Do you think that I'll give you that face? Long Chen looked at him disdainfully and didn't even bother to block that spear. Suddenly, Long Chen was thrown into the air, but it was him that had moved. The heavenly flame spirit that he was standing on roared and threw him. It then opened its mouth, shooting an exploding flame spear at Zhao Mingxuan. Boot! The flame spear exploded, and that spear wrapped in divine flames pierced straight through it without any resistance, stabbing that heavenly flame spirit in the head. Search Navaloon, calm for the original. What shocked Long Chen was that this attack directly killed the bull that he was standing on. That heavenly flame spirit then transformed into runes. What a powerful world, domain divine item. Long Chen's heart shook. That spear was amazing. Died. Just then, another heavenly genius's sword slashed down, tearing through the void. The sword Kai made people's bones shiver. This was also another powerful world, domain divine item. Chapter 3544 Boom! The sword slashed down. But with a flicker of lightning, Long Chen dodged just to the side. As a result, the sword fell and struck a fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirit. That heavenly flame spirit roared. Its body was almost cut in two, so all its runes quivered. After that, the wound instantly healed, and it unleashed a palm at its attacker. Due to the body of that heavenly flame spirit being huge, it struck the heavenly flame spirit beside it. Hence, that one roared in pain and struck back. In an instant, the entire volcano fell into chaos. These fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits began to attack each other and the humans present, not differentiating between the sides. On the other hand, the fourth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits didn't participate in this chaotic battle. They directly fled in fear. Amongst the fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits, none was willing to submit to the others. Their energy absorption was interrupted, so they were all enraged. Hence, their killing intent exploded and they crazily attacked everyone around them. Where is Long Chen? As the fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits exploded in rage, filling the air with runes and explosions, the attacker dodged left and right but was unable to spot Long Chen's figure. Long Chen, you coward, if you have guts, come out. Your grandpa will go three hundred rounds with UPFFT. A heavenly genius ended up struck, 
by a heavenly flame spirit due to roaring at long chen the distraction resulted in him coughing up blood and flying back just as he flew back a flame spear appeared out of midair and he smashed right into it it pierced straight through him everyone was shocked they then saw long chen's body appear in the air there he held the flame spear that was still piercing that heavenly genius three hundred rounds you couldn't even last a single exchange in your next life first judge your actual power before bragging so loudly sneered long chen with a quiver of the spear that heavenly genius was blasted into blood mist long chen didn't give zhao mingxuan and the others any chance to save him young lord in the distance some experts that were wearing similar robes to that genius cried out in horror he was their young lord but he had actually been killed suddenly the dark red sword in that person's hand fled to the horizon want to run long chen sneered and waved his hand the phoenix blood heavenly silk net then caught and dragged it into the primal chaos space that sword wanted to struggle but once it was inside the primal chaos space it instantly went still just then multiple divine weapons slashed toward long chen shaking long chen's heart those were all world domain divine items if he was struck by them he would definitely die with a tug of the phoenix blood heavenly silk net a thread wrapped around the tail of a heavenly flame spirit and dragged it over Oop. Over ten world domain divine items attacked at once. As a result, the entire volcano exploded and lava spurted out in every direction. Even the fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits were unable to endure. The dozen of them at the core were directly blasted apart without even knowing what just happened. As for the others, they were sent flying. A giant flaming mushroom cloud soared into the sky covering the heavens this attack was the combined might of over ten heavenly geniuses and over ten world domain divine items no one could possibly block it long chen saw the volcano crumble and sucked in a cold gasp of air this group of idiots really were powerful if he had fled slower he would have lost his life here the phoenix blood heavenly silk net is more of a supplementary world domain divine item compared to their world domain divine items its pure attack power is lacking quite a bit observed long chen search novelum com for the original these people's sects and families actually dared to give them world domain divine items that meant that they themselves had at least some ability to protect themselves however the phoenix blood heavenly silk net also had its strong points in a one against one long chen wasn't afraid of any of them the phoenix blood heavenly silk net's toughness could even constrain two world domain divine items just then a huge net descended from the heavens after dodging their attack long chen flung out the phoenix blood heavenly silk net it's the phoenix blood heavenly silk net scatter zhao m ink shuan and the others expressions changed when they saw this net they recognized this divine item and they retreated the phoenix blood heavenly silk net fell but they weren't caught the net missed known suddenly some of their expressions changed the net fell and sucked in all the flame runes remaining at the core of the attack they formed a dozen spears of light. Those were the flame essence of the heavenly flame spirits. Children, not bad. Next time, if we have the chance, let us continue working together. Long Chen put away the net with a blessed smile that made Zhao Mingxuan and the others grind their teeth. Aster, Navalun, Kam Zhao Mingxuan and the others were enraged. Their combined attack had killed so many fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits, but all the benefits were taken away by Long Chen. Long Chen then transformed into a bolt of lightning after he finished speaking, vanishing in the blink of an eye without leaving a trace. 
His speed was inconceivable. Just then, the fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits that had been sent flying by that attack unleashed heaven-shaking roars. They opened their mouths, their runes igniting. Fun! Zhao Mingxuan was shocked. After that, he merged with his divine weapon and pierced through the void, flying away. The reason they were able to kill so many of those fifth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits with their combined attack was partially because they had concentrated all their power within it, but it was also because the heavenly flame spirits were not paying much attention to them. Now all of the heavenly flame spirits were enraged and unleashing full power attacks at them. They couldn't block those attacks. If they tried, they would definitely be wiped out. Long Chen hadn't flown too far before he saw the scene behind him. Rays of divine light pierced through the void, and heaven and earth collapsed. It was like the apocalypse. A group of foolish children. Long Chen shook his head. He then flew for over an hour before finding a rather secluded place for him, and he will linger to enter seclusion. He he, true fire sword. The name is quite ordinary, but it's actually very powerful. Only now did Long Chen get a chance to look at his games. This new divine weapon was just over three feet long and covered in ancient runes. Flame energy circulated within it. Also, its sharpness was oppressive. This was definitely a rare divine weapon of the Flame Dao. Big Brother Long Chen, lend me some spiritual strength to absorb these runes, said Huo Linger. Huo Linger was capable of absorbing these fifth heaven stage, heavenly flame spirits, but it was a bit taxing. With Long Chen's cooperation, it would be much easier. Aha, good. Once this heavenly flame essence is refined, you'll control this true flame sword. Then we'll slay Zhao Mingxuan and the rest of them. Long Chen laughed, spending all his energy on helping Huo Linger absorb this heavenly flame essence. He was full of expectations for Huo Linger. Chapter 3545 The True Fire Sword rumbled in Huo Linger's hand, and 30% of its runes lit up. Once they lit up, terrifying divine might raged, causing heaven and earth to change color. A sharp light also shot out and left faint cracks in the void. This sword was capable of piercing the heavens. Big Brother Long Chen, this is my limit. I can only activate this many runes, said Huo Linger. That's enough. To activate 30% of the power of a world domain divine item, you're definitely amazing. Did you see when Zhao Mingxuan and the others attacked? Only a tenth of their world domain divine items runes lit up. He he, starting today, you are my strongest helper. Long Chen laughed delightedly, rubbing Huo Linger's red hair. During the past few days, Long Chen had helped Huo Linger refine the power of the heavenly flame spirits. Her current aura was now almost on par with a fifth heaven stage world king. Furthermore, with the true fire sword in her hand, she could unleash even greater power. This was Long Chen's first time, feeling just how satisfying it was to have such a powerful fighter by his side. However, even after her power sword, she was still unable to absorb the essence of that two-winged vile dragon. Absorbing it was a very slow process. Even Long Chen couldn't help with that. With their current speed, Fully refining the two winged vile dragon's essence would take years. Clearly, its essence was absolutely terrifying, and even the current Huel Linger was lacking a great deal. However, the meat was already in their bowl. Long Chen wasn't worried. It would be Huel Linger's food sooner or later. Furthermore, those heavenly flame crystals also had endless energy. It was simply that now wasn't the time to absorb them yet. That was because counting the days, there were only a few more days until the heavenly flame world would close. He had to quickly search the other regions. The meat could be slowly eaten, but prey still needed to be caught before it was his. Long Chen rushed off in another direction. However, 
Long Chen was surprised to find that even after searching for almost half a day, he barely saw any heavenly flame spirits. He saw the scars left behind by other life forms, but not their actual forms. Suddenly, after sensing powerful flame fluctuations in one direction, Long Chen flew off. The flame fluctuations also grew stronger and stronger. That's the aura of the heavenly rainbow flame. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, and he quickened the pace. He quickly saw a world that had sunk from a battle. The earth was torn asunder, and there were still holes remaining in the heavens that had yet to heal. Rainbow runes continued to fly throughout the earth and sky. That was clearly the heavenly rainbow flame, but there was another insidious power fighting it. Yan Tzu, sensing that insidious energy, Long Chen's killing intent exploded. He instantly recognized that aura, one that had been carved into his bones. Back in the heavenly rainbow domain, the heavenly rainbow fairy statue was destroyed by Lord Brahma's followers. Long Chen then watched as the heavenly rainbow fairy was devoured by Yan Zhu. He would never be able to forget that image in this lifetime. It's already chased to here. King Shuin is in danger. Long Chen instantly thought that Yan Zhu had come here precisely for you, King Shuin. The heavenly rainbow fairy said, that every generation of the heavenly rainbow flame was a seed born from destiny. Only after one fell would another be born. Only the heavenly rainbow fairy was an exception. If Yan Zhu devoured Yu King Shuen, it meant that another heavenly rainbow flame would be born. Although the heavenly rainbow fairy hadn't told Long Chen too much, he guessed that Yan Zhu was very likely treating the heavenly rainbow flame as chimes, chopping them off segment by segment and consuming them as more grew out. It had devoured the heavenly rainbow fairy, and now it wanted to devour you, King Shuen. Bastard! Long Chen roared. The only thing that gave Long Chen a bit of comfort was that the battlefield's flames were raging, but there was not the aura of the war chariot. Yu King Shuen still hadn't been forced to the point of needing her full power. Find the original at Navaloon Come, this battle had been fought around three days ago. But for the holes in the void to not heal even after three days, Long Chen finally had an estimation of Yu Qingxuan's true power. Long Chen quickly appraised the battlefield. Based on his combat experience, he guessed that Yu Qingxuan was sneak attacked, but she was strong enough to break free from the other side's blockade and escape. Moreover, the scars on the battlefield were disorderly. They had only exchanged at most three blows. Clearly, being caught off guard, Yu Qingxuan had been at a disadvantage and hadn't wanted to stick around. Thus, she directly left. Long Chen sensed the auras left behind in the air. That evil aura was definitely Yan Zhu's, but the pressure seemed to be a bit off. Long Chen had personally seen Yan Zhu. Even if it was through the endless void and space, Long Chen had sensed that apocalyptic power. Hence, he was unable to figure out what was off. Transforming into a lightning falcon, he spread his wings and flew off. He had to quickly find Yu Qingxuan. Flame energy was everywhere, and there were also many heavenly flame spirits. When a person reached this place, their aura would gradually be covered up by the flame energy. As there was no way to track someone by aura, Long Chen could only blindly search around. Like a headless fly, Long Chen flew around. He quickly found four humans fighting a second Heaven State Heavenly Flame Spirit. The next instant, a black figure descended from the sky and instantly blasted apart the Heavenly Flame Spirit, shocking the four of them. The heavenly flame spirit was killed before they even knew what was happening. Long Chen appeared in front of them. Upon seeing him, their expressions completely changed. They thought that Long Chen was not just going to kill the heavenly flame spirit, but also them for their wealth. Please, don't kill us, pleaded the one woman amongst the four of them. The four of them were very average. Otherwise, 
it wouldn't take all of them to fight a second heaven stage heavenly flame spirit long chan waved his hand the flame runes were compressed into a flame sphere and he tossed it toward them i have a question has anything happened lately why can't i see anyone around asked long chen seeing that long chen wasn't stealing their treasures and actually helped them kill that heavenly flame spirit they relaxed a great deal to answer senior apprentice brother's question the rumor is that some peerless expert appeared and fought with fairy king Shuen. they fought all the way to the edge of the whirlpool and that caused a huge amount of the heavenly flame world's core energy to leak the powerful people have all gone there with the core energy of the heavenly flame world unleashed countless experts are fighting over it powerful heavenly flame spirits have also appeared we want to go too but those heavenly flame spirits are too powerful even the weakest ones are at the third heaven stage and there are so many of them we don't dare to go only those powerful heavenly geniuses dare to get a cup of soup there explained one of them long chen's heart shook yan zhu had truly locked onto yu king shuen this would be a battle to the death fortunately the four of them knew where it was and pointed long chen in the right direction long chen instantly transformed into a streak of light piercing through the air king shuen hold on i'm coming killing intent exploded out of long chen's eyes yan zhu boss long sam will go all out against you today chapter three thousand five hundred forty six heaven and earth shuddered at this moment a pillar of fire soared into the sky piercing the very dome of the heavens from it endless flame runes transformed into a rain of light that covered the entire world the rain of light contained berserk flame runes that exploded when they landed on the ground also this rain of light was strong enough to kill immortal kings roar kill within this rain of light countless life forms and heavenly flame spirits were fighting they were fighting over those specks of light this rain contained the world's energy hence whether it was the life forms that had come from the immortal world or the native heavenly flame spirits they were driven crazy by it people viewed the heavenly flame spirits as great sources of nourishment but the heavenly flame spirits also viewed the invaders as pieces of meat that had come to them now due to fighting over the reign of light all of them went crazy it was a completely chaotic battle every single life form that you saw was an enemy it was to the extent that the heavenly flame spirits were attacking fellow heavenly flame spirits and humans attacking other humans on this battlefield other than yourself you couldn't trust anyone many human experts already had their physical bodies destroyed and yet they continued to fight crazily as you and spirits to flame cultivators the physical body wasn't particularly important whether it was taking over a body or creating a new body they weren't difficult as long as their flame energy was strong enough they could still be powerful experts the flames here contained the world's core energy and no one could resist this allure hence people crazily fought over them whether it was the people or the heavenly flame spirits that were killed they would release flame energy that could be absorbed anew it was like a group of people carrying gold and silver were killing each other anyone who fell would have their treasures scattered to the ground as well this sight made people forget their fear of death all they thought about was gathering those treasures the space for millions and millions of miles was filled with various flames people's lives were like blades of grass here and the air was filled with a crazy scent moreover various life forms from different races continued to crazily charge toward the core as for the heavenly flame spirits they continued coming from every single direction the battle only continued to grow increasingly chaotic if you got through the outer edge of this battlefield and could see the core you would see countless heavenly geniuses of the various races fighting against the heavenly flame spirits 
This region contained heavenly flame spirits that had at least reached the levels of fifth and sixth heaven stage world kings. However, all of them were so enormous that every time their giant bodies moved, they appeared very clumsy. Even so, their attack ranges were huge. A single attack could wipe out all the surrounding heavenly flame spirits. As for the humans due to possessing smaller bodies, they actually had quite the advantage, slipping their way through the chaos and grabbing whatever benefits they could. However, there was still endless danger here. One life form actually stuck to the back of another heavenly flame spirit for safety, only for another heavenly flame spirit far off in the distance, to spit out a flame divine sword that pierced through the bodies of several heavenly flame spirits. That life form originally wasn't on that path, but the heavenly flame spirit that he was on wanted to attack someone else and directly moved him into the path of that attack. As a result, that life form was slain without even realizing what had happened. Not just his physical body, but even his human spirit was destroyed by that attack. The heavenly flame spirits were going crazy and unleashed random attacks fearlessly. They didn't even let off the ninth heaven stage heavenly flame spirits at the center. Sometimes a few hundred attacks would land on a ninth heaven stage heavenly flame spirit all at once, and even it wouldn't be able to endure it. The closer you went to the core, the stronger the heavenly flame spirits were. Where the pillar of light was shooting out of, there were three mountain-sized heavenly flame spirits. Their mouths were opened wide as they devoured that flame energy. These three heavenly flame spirits possessed heaven-shaking auras. They were all existences on the level of divine venerates, and they ignored the chaotic battle around them. Although a few crazed heavenly flame spirits attacked them, even the ninth heaven stage ones were unable to shake them, so they couldn't be bothered to even pay attention to the battle. They only focused on absorbing this flame energy. As for up in the sky, a sphere of rainbow light was repeatedly clashing with a blood-colored light. The void also rumbled with every collision. Because of it, the space around them was covered in cracks that spread hundreds of miles. It was like the world was about to shatter. You, King Shuen, hand over the heavenly rainbow flame. That is your only path to survival. A sinister and dark voice came from the blood-colored light, and it was dripping with bloodthirstiness. It was not the voice of a human, but more like the growl of a devil. It shook people's souls. That giant blood-colored light contained a long-haired man in blood-red armor and a blood-red spear. His scarlet eyes were like the eyes of a fiend tightly locked onto his opponent. You fiend, we are natural enemies. Today only one of us will live to leave this place. Yu Qingxuan stood on her war chariot within the rainbow flames, holding a seven-colored divine sword. Her eyes were full of hatred and killing intent as she looked at her opponent. I am Sovereign Yan Zhu's ninth son, Yan Hong. The dark light heaven's heavenly rainbow flame was already consumed by my eighth brother. The heavenly rainbow flames are destined to be our food. Once I devour your heavenly rainbow flame, I will break through my shackles and condense the Yan Zhu true flame. For this one day I've waited hundreds of thousands of years. Hand over the heavenly rainbow flame. That is your only choice, said Yan Hong greedily. The heavenly rainbow flame has merged with me. It is my conviction, my life. If you have the ability, then you can take it along with my life. If you don't have that ability, then I will take your life. I have never hated someone as much as I have today. Yu King Shuin glared at Yan Hong with icy killing intent in her beautiful eyes. How foolish! My Yan Zhu line can devour the ten thousand flames. I am an unrivaled existence in this world. I have mercy on you because I want to absorb the complete heavenly rainbow flame. I don't want you to deplete its core energy. But since you refuse to recognize kindness, I will simply consume it by force. Although there will be some loss, I can make up for it here. 
you have no idea before your heavenly rainbow line awakens the heavenly rainbow manifestation you are innately suppressed by my yan zu race yan hung laughed sinisterly his spear suddenly quivered black threads then appeared amongst the red flames around kai hong's body they were like black vipers extending out yu king shuan was shocked those black threads easily broke her defenses most terrifying of all when those flames invaded the flame energy around her involuntarily flowed out in just a breath's time she had lost thirty per cent of the flame energy in her body her power was actually drawn into the void by those black threads dispersed into heaven and earth she had never seen such a terrifying power when you're just trying to make great content at Nava Loon, Kam Yu King Shuen rapidly retreated, slashing her sword at those threads. However, those black threads were incomparably tough. When her sword struck them, her core energy rapidly flowed away once more. But just then, huge explosions rang out in the distance, and a voice rang out like a god's howl. It shook the nine heavens, causing the world to change color. Whoever dares to touch a hair on Yu Kingshuan's head will regret ever coming to this world. Chapter 3547 Long Chen arrived with killing intent that filled the heavens. It was as if the heavenly Daos were about to collapse. That killing intent shook people's souls. Yu Kingshuan was even more important than his own life. He would not permit anyone to harm her in the slightest. Back on the Martial Heaven continent, Yu Qingxuan had died right in front of him. That image deeply pained his heart. Having met her again, he swore to protect her for a lifetime, letting her live a peaceful life of joy. Hence, when he learned that she was in danger, he charged right over. Seeing those two giant spheres of light clashing, he instantly saw that Yu Qingxuan was affected by those black flames causing her core energy to flow out. She was in crisis. It's Long Chen. You got um bastard. Die. Zhao Mingxuan and the others were shocked and enraged to see Long Chen charging in. Without hesitation, they attacked him. Those who block me will die. Long Chen's killing intent exploded. At this time, this group of bastards were still sticking to him and blocking his path. Scram! Oop! The void suddenly exploded as a giant fist smashed down, piercing the void. As for Zhao Mingxuan and the others, they hadn't expected to be sneak attacked from behind and hastily flew to the sides. Feeling shocked, they saw that it was a flame giant. It was that lava giant that had spoken to Long Chen just before the heavenly flame world appeared. He actually appeared now to help Long Chen. Long Chen was originally enraged at being blocked by Zhao Mingxuan and the others. He didn't fear them, but they would delay him from saving Yu Qingxuan. After all, if they joined forces on this chaotic battlefield, quite a bit of his precious time would be lost. Many thanks. This unexpected punch from that lava giant created a path for Long Chen. He was delighted and hastily thanked the lava giant as he shot by like a bolt of lightning. Lava giant race. Do you really think that we don't dare to kill you? Zhao Mingxuan and the others were enraged at being sneak attacked. Wu Yang in particular roared and transformed into a three-foot golden crow, attacking the lava giant. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon. Calm is the golden crow race. Very amazing. Does my lava giant race need to discuss our actions with you beforehand? If you want to fight, then I'll accompany you. The lava giant's body instantly grew explosively. A fist smashed toward Wu Yang. Two enormous figures fought, unleashing shocking flames. With the two of them fighting all out, the chaotic battlefield grew even more chaotic. In the distance, a figure watched as Long Chen flew past. There was a touch of rancor in that gaze. He was Feng Zhang. He had fallen to this point thanks to Long Chen. Now, 
he was a laughing stock, and Wu Yang and the others looked down on him. At this moment, he could only hide in a corner with a mask on, absorbing the heavenly flame energy amongst the crowd. Ooh. Long Chen reached the core, and with the true fire sword, he attacked Yan Hong. Don't. He will disperse your power into the void, shouted Yu Qingxuan when she saw Long Chen attacking so recklessly. That little distraction caused the black threads entangling her to instantly become the thickness of an arm and envelop her. At the same time, rainbow flames soared into the heavens. Long Chen's true fire sword pierced through the flame protection around Yan Hong. However, Long Chen was shocked to find that the moment this sword touched the flames around Yan Hong, the true fire sword's flame runes were all extinguished. Moreover, Huel Linger's power that was attached to it was also stripped away, vanishing without a trace. It was like a brush covered in ink was passing through a waterfall. That barrier completely stripped away the ink. But in this case, that ink was all of Long Chen's power. Scram! Yan Hong didn't even look at Long Chen. The black spear in his right hand stabbed toward Long Chen. At the same time, he extended his left hand, sending countless black threads toward Yu Qingxuan. Boop! The black spear smashed into the true fire sword, causing a huge explosion. However, Yan Hong's body was sent flying like a shooting star. Seeing the true fire sword in Long Chen's hand, Yan Hong had assumed that Long Chen was a flame cultivator. That made him lower his guard toward Long Chen, because the Yan Zhu line specialized in countering flame cultivators. Thus, he hadn't placed Long Chen's attack in his eyes and had thought that his spear would send Long Chen flying, at least heavily injuring him if not killing him. His target was Yu Qingchuan. However, Long Chen wasn't a flame cultivator, and his physical body was not weak. Instead, it was the opposite. Hence, Yan Hong was sent flying by Long Chen's physical strength, smashing into a sixth heaven stage heavenly flame spirit. That heavenly flame spirit was directly smashed through. Its giant body was unable to bear a single blow from Yan Hong. Long Chen ignored Yan Hong and swung the true fire sword, cutting through the black threads around Yu Qingxuan's body. She was finally freed. Qingxuan, I'm sorry. I was late. Seeing the pale Yu Qingxuan, whose eyes had almost lost all their luster, Long Chen was enraged and aggrieved. He had no idea what power this Yan Hong had used, but he had almost stripped away all of Yu Qingxuan's core energy. She was exceptionally weak right now, and Long Chen had to support her just to prevent her from collapsing. Why did you come here? You aren't a match for him. He is Yan Zhu's son and possesses bizarre techniques. He can strip me of my flame energy. You have to run. Yu Qingxuan looked at Long Chen worriedly. She now realized that Yan Hong's strange energy was like poison, causing her flame energy to pour into the void. It was like how people absorbed the energy of heaven and earth to cultivate. But Yan Hong's ability was the opposite. He could disperse people's energy back into heaven and earth. This was a technique that didn't benefit him at all. It only harmed others. Returning other people's energy back to heaven and earth was extremely bizarre. Yu Qingxuan had never thought that such a power would exist in this world. Perhaps it truly was as Yan Hong said. Without awaiting the heavenly rainbow manifestation, she was completely restrained by him. Now that Yan Hong had displayed his power, Yu Qingxuan understood that he wasn't lying. All throughout their battle, he had only been probing her, wanting to see if she had awakened the heavenly rainbow manifestation or not. Only when he had finished testing her bottom line did he unleash his trump card. Yan Hong was even more terrifying than she had expected. I said that I wouldn't let anyone harm you. Since he dared to harm you, I will make him pay the price. Whatever I say, I can do. Don't worry. With me present, I guarantee your safety, said Long Chen solemnly, 
looking into Yu Qingxuan's eyes. Yu Qingxuan was incomparably weak in this state, but looking into Long Chen's steady gaze, her frenetic heart instantly calmed down. Long Chen's gaze gave her an endless sense of safety. Boom! Suddenly, the earth exploded and endless flames raged. After that, An Hong's figure appeared in the air and black runes swirled in his eyes. Like a death god, he stared at Long Chen coldly. How do you want to die? Chapter 3548 That should be what I say to you. You are Yan Zhu's son. Then, the one in the dark light heaven that devoured the heavenly rainbow fairy should be your father. My enmity with your father is as deep as the sea. As for you, you harmed my lover. If I don't kill you today, I won't be Long Chen. Long Chen looked at Yan Hong. At this moment, the true fire sword in his hand vanished, and he reached back for the Ming Hong saber. That was my big brother, corrected Yan Hong coldly. Your dad, your brother, whatever. I'll kill them all eventually. I'll kill you first, then your big brother, and then your father until you're all wiped out. When Long Chen's hand grasped the Mingong saber, his clothes began to flutter despite there being no breeze. His sharp killing intent was already firmly locked onto Yan Hong. Long Chen, it's no good. He has a strange energy that can extract all your flame energy. We have to run now, transmitted Yu Kengshun when she saw his rising battle intent. She had yet to awaken the heavenly rainbow manifestation, and was countered by Yan Hong's power. As for Long Chen, he didn't even have a heavenly flame in the top ten rankings. She was worried that he would die. Although the look that Long Chen had given her before had filled her with confidence, this new look in his eyes made that confidence vanish. After all, that was Yan Zhu's son. Yan Zhu was said to be the strongest flame within the nine heavens and ten lands, capable of devouring all ten thousand flames. His son was definitely an extremely terrifying existence. I know his power, but I'm not afraid of him. I'll have Huo Linger help you recover some energy. Go into your war chariot and wait. Once I slaughter him, I'll help you recover, said Long Chen. A flame dragon then flew out and wrapped around Yu Qingxuan's body. When Huo Linger's energy entered Yu Qingxuan's body, she was startled. She instantly recovered a trace of energy. After consuming a medicinal pill, she entered the war chariot. Yan Hong wasn't the slightest bit panicked to see her retreat. It seemed that everything was within his control, and he coldly looked at Long Chen. H.M., your body also contains devouring energy. You have the ability to devour flames as well. Just who are you? His response was the Ming Hong saber coming out of its sheath. Long Chen's divine ring then shook behind him, and 108,000 stars appeared within it. Instantly, his aura was unleashed to the limit. Split the heavens, too. All the energy that he had been storing up was unleashed in this celestial blade. Saber Kai crashed down, suffocating the very world. This time, Yan Hong was no longer careless. Having experienced Long Chen's immense power, Yan Hong summoned a pair of black wings on his back. When they manifested, the ten thousand Daos rumbled. My Nan Zhu race is the ruler of all flames. Who do you think you are? Yan Hong sneered. His wings quivered, and that black spear of his pierced forward like the devil's venomous fang. Boom! A blood-red saber and a black spear clashed. At the same time, red and black lights shattered the ten thousand Daos, and endless runes of space-time flew about, producing surging kai waves that blew away countless heavenly flame spirits. Other than the three heavenly flame spirits at the core, a giant space instantly emptied within this chaotic battlefield. Up in the sky, Long Chen's black robes and hair fluttered. Holding the Minghong saber, he pressed down on that black spear with overwhelming power. 
Long Chen's blood kai was shaking along with his 108,000 stars, and endless energy was gushing out. It was like the flame of a furnace growing hotter and hotter. Kai waves continuously battered this world, and this scene horrified countless people. Seeing Long Chen's current appearance, Yu Qingxuan's eyes moistened without her even being aware of it. For some reason, this curious expression of his seemed familiar to her, and it shook the softest part of her heart. Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others were shocked. They had always been looking down on Long Chen, thinking that his greatest skill was only his glib tongue. Other than conning people with his shameless traps, he wasn't supposed to have any ability. But now that he was going all out, they realized that his power was actually so immense. We are Navaloon, come find us on Google. Devouring the heavenly rainbow fairy, harming my lover. Even if you are Yan Zhu's son, you won't escape your death today. Long Chen's power continued to crazily climb. It was as if he had endless power welling up. With a thunderous shout, his arms crashed down. Oh. Yan Hong was finally unable to endure any longer and was blown back by this saber. With just one step back, Long Chen's aura was like a river free from a dam, and he unleashed thirty-six blows in one go. Yan Hong repeatedly blocked, with every blow causing him to take another step back. The ground beneath his feet crumbled. He was clearly drawing Long Chen's power underground, using the lowest price to block his attacks. This Yan Hong really is terrifying. Even though Long Chen isn't using flame energy, he is still managing to dispel Long Chen's energy. What kind of monstrous power is he? Hidden in the dark, Feng Zhang stared in shock at Yan Hong. Yan Hong was a perfect counter for flame cultivators. Even Yu Qingxuan, who was in control of the heavenly rainbow flame, was constrained, so others weren't even close to a match for him. Moreover, even when Long Chen wasn't using flame energy, Yan Hong was still capable of using his strange power to dispel Long Chen's attacks. Just who in the world was capable of fighting him? Although the Yan Zhu flame was said to be the strongest flame in the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands, capable of burning all things and devouring the Ten Thousand Flames, for it to be able to counter other kinds of energy completely surpassed the scope of people's understanding. Did you think that you could beat me just by not using flame energy? What a ridiculous thought. I have an undying, indestructible flame body. In front of me, your attacks are useless. You cannot harm my core. Furthermore, in the heavenly flame world, my power is endless. I am constantly replenishing it. You want to exhaust my power. Yan Hong sneered as he blocked Long Chen's attacks. No matter how Long Chen attacked, no matter how much of a storm he unleashed, and no matter how powerful his aura grew, Yan Hong still seemed to feel that victory was within his grasp. Undying and indestructible, there is no such thing in front of me. Once I kill you, you will understand just how much of a joke your undying, indestructible body is, snorted Long Chen. After that, the Ming Hong saber swung through the air faster and faster, stronger and stronger. Every blow caused the world to change color. At some point, countless black threads appeared in the void. Long Chen's sharp saber Kai was cutting apart space. Everyone was shocked by this. Long Chen's power was continuously climbing as if there was no limit. No one could tell when it would stop. As Long Chen's aura continuously climbed, so did Yan Hong's power. Their fight caused the entire heavenly flame world to start quivering. Everyone was shocked by Long Chen's power, but they were also shocked to find that Yan Hong seemed to have merged with the entire world. He really did seem to have an endless energy supply. Without using your flame energy, all your attacks are meaningless, said Yan Hong apathetically. Long Chen knew that this fellow was eyeing Huo Lingbe's energy. In their brief initial clash, Huo Lingbe's energy was absorbed. Now, 
he wanted her core energy as well Boom. suddenly long chen retreated a step creating a distance between himself and yan hong you're giving up yan hong's gaze was apathetically cold it was as if no matter what happened victory was still within his grasp i long chen never give up on what i've decided you have your confidence and i have my trump cards the warm-up is over my body should be able to endure it now so i'll be unleashing my full power we will decide who is stronger and who will die today suddenly the star diagram in long chen's divine ring quivered starry sea births violet kai long chen shouted and violet kai gushed out of his star diagram when that violet kai appeared the ten thousand daos began to whine as if the world was about to be crushed chapter three thousand five hundred forty nine boom heaven and earth exploded and waves of violet kai poured into the world within this endless violet kai was a surging starry river also the power of time seemed to be contained in this violet kai star diagram it was just like the workings of the cosmos at that moment the world shook and the ten thousand daos fluctuated the entire heavenly flame world quivered because of the appearance of this star diagram as the violet kai swirled round long chen a light in his eyes twinkled the current him seemed to be the son of the cosmos the one in control of the world's laws it was as though a single thought from him could destroy the heavens and exterminate the earth long chen's aura seemed completely different now like he was precisely the cosmos an existence that people didn't even dare to look at directly three moves long chen coldly spat out two words that no one understood long chen then attacked raising his minghong saber high the next moment the minghong saber rumbled with endless violet kai wrapping around it countless stars appeared on top of it after that sharp saber kai soared into the clouds piercing through the heavens when the hole in the heavens appeared people couldn't see the sun moon and stars no what they saw was endless darkness it was as if the heavenly flame world was originally within the darkness everyone's soul quivered when this saber stabbed the hole through the world and a terrifying sensation of death filled them as a result they turned into frightened rabbits scattering in every direction fleeing alongside them were the heavenly flame spirits they seemed to have sensed something wrong as well split the heavens one the minghong saber hacked down like a bolt of lightning bringing with it a river of stars wrapped in violet kai it appeared completely unstoppable yan hong's expression finally changed at this moment his soul began to quiver it was his first time feeling such an immense sensation of danger in his lifetime it can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from novel loon come boom he raised his wings and millions of black threads flew out instantly enveloping the sky they caused the surrounding space to twist also the flame runes within the world were sucked up without leaving a drop by those black threads heavens is the yanzu flame truly capable of devouring and controlling all other flames people were horrified by that sight yan hong was practically a god here as long as the heavenly flame world was destroyed his power was limitless that was absolutely terrifying Boom. it was at this moment that long chen's saber fell a heaven-shaking explosion erupted destroying people's eardrums after that countless people screamed but they couldn't even hear it although they had fled far away they were still affected most terrifying of all was that it wasn't just their hearing that was taken away they couldn't see anything either everything before them was black and even their divine sense vanished countless people cried out thinking that they were already dead but light quickly returned to their eyes albeit very little some people quickly realized that they had been buried when they came crawling out of the earth they realized they were in a giant hole 
At the center of it was Long Chen holding the Ming Hong saber, calmly standing in the air. As for Yan Hong, he appeared shocked. He suddenly opened his mouth and spat out a mouthful of blood. His blood was as black as ink and automatically ignited as soon as he spat it out, causing it to vanish into heaven and earth. Yan Hong was injured. Startled cries rang out. Yan Hong was Yan Zhu's son, an incarnation of flames, an existence said to be undying and indestructible. According to reason, physical attacks should be completely ineffective against him, and only flames should be able to harm him. However, he was able to devour all the flames of the world, so flame attacks were also meaningless. He was completely unbeatable. It was a power that caused despair. Hence, seeing him cough up blood from Long Chen's attack, everyone was shocked. Long Chen's attack had destroyed the land. As a result, flames spurted out of the land, filling this whole light waves crashing in from every direction. People were shocked and delighted by this. Immersed within this sea of flames, they crazily absorbed this energy. This was the world's energy. It had originally been a tiny stream created due to Yu Qingxuan and Yan Hong's battle. But that trickle was now crazily gushing out due to Long Chen's attack. This was an incredibly rare opportunity for any cultivator. Despite knowing the danger, they still crazily absorbed it. Those heavenly flame spirits also came charging back when this flame energy appeared. It didn't matter if it was the outside experts or the native heavenly flame spirits. They all profited from this. The three divine venerate heavenly flame spirits had also been blown away. They were originally charging back furiously, but when they saw this flood of flame energy, their anger instantly vanished. They charged into that current, absorbing it with all their might, ignoring Long Chen and Yan Hong. I didn't expect there to be such an energy in this world. It can actually harm my core. Interesting. Yan Hong's gaze was burning when he looked at Long Chen. His battle intent rose. Although he had been injured, he was still filled with confidence. Endless flame energy whirled around him. He was like the flame god of this world, an unbeatable existence. People's hearts shook. Long Chen had unleashed such a terrifying attack, shaking everyone. But Yan Hong had received it. The two of them were absolute monsters. Thinking about that last attack, not one expert present dared to try to receive it. They didn't even dare to receive the shockwaves and would only flee. Although Yan Hong had coughed up blood and been injured, he could still receive that attack. Furthermore, he had a flame body. With this place as his battlefield, he recovered faster than anyone. Victory and defeat had yet to be decided. One battle god and one flame god, both emitting horrifying auras and possessing wills that shook the heavens. They also possessed an arrogance that looked down on all others. Now, these two monsters were pointed at each other. I told you, there is no such thing as an absolutely undying body in this world. All things have their bane. Just because you haven't encountered it yet doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. With that last attack, you dispelled half my power. Your ability really is strange, but it won't be enough to deal with me. Now prepare yourself. The second move is coming. Long Chen once more raised the Ming Hong saber. As a result, the endless violet kai that was scattered throughout heaven and earth was sucked into the Ming Ong saber without leaving a single drop. Just then, a sharp saber will shook the clouds and a giant saber image pierced into the darkness beyond the heavens. The earth began to crack and the void wailed. After that, the ten thousand daos crumbled. People were shocked to find that the flame runes were coagulating. They were unable to absorb them any longer. This is... People were horrified. What kind of power was this? Even before Long Chen's attack fell, the entire world's laws had changed. 
they finally understood what Long Chen meant when he said three moves just now. He was going to kill Yan Hong in three moves. Split the heavens, too. This time, Long Chen held the saber with both hands. Furthermore, the aura of this attack was several times stronger than the last. It felt like the heavenly flame world was about to collapse, so everyone once more fled. Chapter 3550 Long Chen's saber had yet to fall, but his saber, Will had already compressed space to the point that it twisted wildly. It was as if the world was about to be split apart by this attack. This was Long Chen's first time using the starry sea birth's violet Kai manifestation. He knew that using this manifestation would place a heavy burden on his body. Thus, the previous fight had been nothing more than a warm-up so that his body was in the absolute best condition. He gradually increased his power bit by bit. Otherwise, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to endure the impact of the Violet Kai. When the Starry Sea Birth's Violet Kai manifestation appeared, Long Chen found that even within the heavenly flame world, a world where flames dominated, he could still control the power of the Ten Thousand Daos. It was different from the outside world. In the outside world, he needed the recognition of the heavenly Daos. However much heavenly Dao energy they were willing to give him was how much he could use. However, in this place he had taken over, he was the ruler. This world's energy was forcibly claimed by him, and the heavenly flame world could not resist. It was an absolute suppression. The starry sea birth's violet Kai manifestation could completely suppress the heavenly Daos of this world, and make it submit. Furthermore, at this time, cracks appeared in the space beneath Yan Hong's feet as Long Chen's sharp saber Kai locked onto him. Yan Hong suddenly found that ten thousand Daos were no longer listening to his commands. Blaze of the heavenly Daos, clear the void. Flames of the ten thousand Daos, obey my command. Yan Hong shouted, and a black figure appeared behind him. However, this black figure was too indistinct to recognize. But it contained a sinister evil Kai. At this moment, the flames gushing out of the land beneath their feet vanished, sucked up by him. At this moment, the Mingong saber slashed down with a river of stars on it. The walls of the heavens collapsed, creating an unending opening in it. Boop! On the other hand, Countless runes lit up on Yan Hong's black spear. A sinister aura was unleashed, and it cried out as if a beast was awakening. These two divine items once more clashed. As a result, the earth was torn asunder, and the walls of the heavens shattered. Countless black holes appeared. This clash almost caused the world to fully break apart. Within this apocalyptic world, the earth was constantly being torn apart, sinking. The walls of the heavens were also starting to collapse. The place containing Long Chen and Yan Hong was now fluctuating and collapsing. Their attacks had shattered the balance of this world, so it was already on the path of destruction. Yan Hong's body. As people fled further and further away, they looked back to see that half of Yan Hong's body was covered in cracks. His aura had plummeted. Although he had managed to receive this attack, he still suffered a heavy injury. Search Navaloon come for the original. Just how is Long Chen so terrifying? Every life form present was completely stunned by this exchange. That was the son of the world's number one flame, Yan Zhu. Long Chen could actually wound him like this. There's still one more move to end your life. Long Chen's voice was icy, without the slightest emotion. His battle intent was like a boulder and had not changed in the slightest, even after that last exchange. When the Minghong saber was raised again, the scattered violet Kai in the world was sucked up once more. This was a new method that Long Chen had come up with to layer his power. With the first attack, he only unleashed 80% of his power, concentrating the other 20% within his body. That 20% then helped him block the backlash force, 
giving him the freedom to switch moves whenever he wanted to. The other aspect, and this was the most important part, was that this 20% would spread throughout the void and reconnect with his scattered power, causing this power to not immediately dissipate. Before they dissipated, he gathered them for another attack, layering his power. This kind of superimposition was extremely shocking. Gathering back that vile Kai did not just gather back the energy, but also the will of split the heavens. If he could gather around 30% of the power, then the will of split the heavens would be gathered as well. Thus, with the power and will of split the heavens contained, the next attack's killing power would be several times greater than the last. As for Yan Hong's ability, it was truly bizarre. It was capable of scattering a portion of his attack's energy into heaven and earth to lighten the pressure on himself. As a result, the power that Yan Hong scattered ended up being reabsorbed by Long Chen. He was actually helping Long Chen. That was why with the second attack, Yan Hong immediately noticed something wrong. This Violet Kai was able to wound him, and he also saw the technique with which Long Chen was layering his attacks. He directly summoned his own ultimate attack. However, he still ended up being injured. If it hadn't been for him absorbing the sea of lava pouring out of the ground, he would not have been able to receive Long Chen's attack. Seeing Long Chen raise his saber and gather the violet Kai in the air once again, his expression completely changed. If this saber fell, he really might die. In order to test Long Chen's power, he actually fell into his death trap. Yan Zhu Flame, ten thousand spirits offer sacrifice. Yan Hong roared and quickly formed hand seals. At this moment, Long Chen's expression changed. He had no time to unleash the third blow, and his body was like lightning, rapidly retreating. Just as he retreated, three heavenly flame spirits appeared where he had been. It was those three divine venerate heavenly flame spirits. Three huge explosions then shook the world as these heavenly flame spirits self-detonated. Huge flames instantly devoured Long Chen. Long Chen was shocked. He hadn't expected Yan Hong to have the ability to make three divine venerate heavenly flame spirits kill themselves just to attack. Although Long Chen had fled as fast as possible, the explosion instantly covered a huge region that he couldn't possibly escape from. Suddenly, a war chariot charged into that core region. At the same time, a dragon-shaped shield and a rainbow shield appeared in front of Long Chen. Yuo Ling'er and Yu Qingxuan had returned. Who, enduring the huge explosion, Yu Qingxuan's world domain war chariot disintegrated upon contact with those terrifying flames. Even a world domain divine item was unable to block the detonations of three divine venerate heavenly flame spirits. However, as the war chariot disintegrated, it gave Long Chan some buffer room. Just then, Huo Linger's dragon shield also exploded. When the flames struck Yu Qingxuan's rainbow shield, the shield's divine light exploded, actually blocking the remaining force of the flames. However, Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan were still blown far into the distance. Oh, her shield was broken, but ultimately still managed to help Long Chen escape this tribulation. Yu Qingxuan had been paying attention to the battle the entire time and had been using the war chariot to absorb flame energy so that she could quickly recover. However, her core energy was almost exhausted by Yan Hong. Even in the heavenly flame world, with such a short time, she was only able to recover 20%. In order to help block this attack, her core energy was once more exhausted. Her face was pale and blood leaked out of her mouth, but she had a gratified smile. It was worth it to have saved Long Chen. Seeing that pale face, Long Chen felt like a blade was stabbing his heart. His anger flared. He then had Huo Linger protect Yu King Uxin as he once more raised his saber. However, just then, a giant gaping maw appeared behind Yan Hong. 
he began to crazily devour the flame energy in this world not good he's going to devour all of this world's flame energy long chen you must stop him otherwise he will instantly recover he might even advance cried out yu kingshuan only then did long chen take note that the ones to self-detonate were not just those three divine venerate heavenly flame spirits every single heavenly flame spirit within the heavenly flame world had transformed into runes all right let's see who snatches more long chen formed hand seals his rainbow divine ring then grew limitlessly instantly filling the dome of the heavens long chen then grew solemn and began chanting the nirvana scripture its holy dignified sound rang out within heaven and earth as a result endless flame runes poured toward long chen like rivers pouring into the sea they converged within his divine ring chapter three thousand five hundred fifty one endless flame runes filled this world when all the heavenly flame spirits perished they instantly turned into a giant sea of runes under long chen's pressure yan zu's son unleashed his greatest technique which caused even divine venerate heavenly flame spirits to self-detonate almost blasting long chen apart this was truly a terrifying power and it exceeded the scope of people's understanding the entire heavenly flame world was practically boiling now two huge whirlpools appeared one of those was in long chen's divine ring and the other was the gaping maw behind yan hong both of them were crazily devouring this world's flame energy everyone could see giant currents of flames gushing toward them many experts eyes reddened that was pure heavenly flame energy ignoring the crumbling world around them they also began to absorb this energy however they were like ants nibbling on a feast both long chen and yan hong were absorbing ninety nine percent of the flame energy sucking it in like whales long chen then formed hand seals and chanted the nirvana scripture as a result a holy voice rang out within heaven and earth and endless flame runes were affected and poured toward him seeing this yan hong was shocked and enraged he was the king of the ten thousand flames all flames within heaven and earth were under his command but as long chen chanted the nirvana scripture he found that the world's flame energy was no longer fully obeying him moreover long chen was absorbing the flame energy a bit faster than him you aren't a flame spiritual body are you not afraid of absorbing so much that you explode shouted yan hong as he absorbed the flames as he absorbed these flames his originally listless aura began to thrum once more furthermore his aura was crazily rising he was growing stronger and stronger as for long chen he ignored yan hong it was true that such terrifying heavenly flame energy wasn't something that huo linger could directly absorb however that didn't matter he sent this current of flame energy straight into the primal chaos space under the light of the golden lotus seed this current was like a tiger stripped of its claws and fangs it instantly became docile sheep floating in the air obediently thus long chen felt disdain for yan hong's taunt he could absorb as much of this heavenly flame energy as he wanted even so seeing yan hong's aura crazily climbing long chen's heart was shaken this yan hong was absolutely terrifying with his power that could control this world's flames he was practically an unrivaled existence however long chen knew that no one could truly be unrivaled yan hong had caused the three divine venerate heavenly flame spirits to detonate but that didn't mean that he could control them if he could really control them he wouldn't have made them detonate just by making them attack long chen all at once long chen would have instantly died if yan hong was truly omnipotent he also wouldn't need to go to such lengths just to absorb this heavenly flame energy to strengthen himself he had to have his own weaknesses despite that 
his power was completely bizarre it was so powerful that it truly did spark despair long chen was absorbing the heavenly flame energy to limit yan hong's absorption otherwise if yan hong was allowed to absorb all the power of the heavenly flame world long chen would definitely die fortunately the nirvana scripture was also an existence that could control the ten thousand flames of heaven and earth adding on the divine ring its range grew explosively Huel linger had also transformed into millions of tiny flame dragons around the edges of the divine ring increasing its power as a result long chen's absorption rate was faster than yan hom's that was the only thing that gave long chen any sense of comfort as for the other experts they all panicked when they saw the heavenly flame energy of the world rapidly diminishing under the absorption of these two it was like these flame runes were already branded by the two of them these experts also tried to absorb the runes with all their might but the result was minuscule seeing that they were unable to get any benefits countless people were enraged they could see the feast right before them but couldn't consume it how unbearable hence countless people eyed long chen and yan hong suddenly someone made their move and silently shot toward long chen it's someone from the devil race long chen watch out a startled expert shouted a warning although these people had no relationship with long chen the devil race was the enemy of the human race hence quite a few people shouted warnings to long chen just then that devil expert actually switched targets from long chen to yu kingshuan who was right behind him courting death long chen was enraged this devil expert was precisely the immemorial flame devil who had said that he would kill long chen before entering the heavenly flame world long chen don't get distracted Focus on absorbing the flame energy. Our greatest enemy is Yan Hong. So leave this one to me, transmitted Yu Kingshuan. Yu. Long Chen was anxious. Yu Kingshuan had just used up all her recovered energy to block the detonations of three divine venerate heavenly flame spirits. She didn't have much energy left. How was she supposed to block this expert? Trust me. Focus on Yan Hong, or we'll all die. After saying that, Yu Qingxuan slashed her sword down on the void. As a result, rainbow light unfurled, and that immemorial flame devil's rushing figure vanished. He reappeared far outside the battlefield. What? Startled cries rang out. No one knew what Yu Qingxuan had done. That expert was forced out completely bizarrely. According to reason, Yu Kingshuan was already exhausted, and this devil expert had no reason for fleeing like this. No, it was Fairy Kingshuan's attack. It contained spatial energy that sent him out. He didn't retreat, said someone who saw the truth. Slut of the human race go to hell. The immemorial flame devil's devil Kai suddenly erupted. He was originally planning on a sneak attack, but since that had been ruined he unleashed all his power with his devil's sword rumbling he once more attacked yu kingshuan rainbow prison yu kingshuan's sword suddenly left her hand and split apart after forming hand seals the rainbow sword transformed into pillars that descended from the heavens and pierced the land fully trapping the devil expert inside break the immemorial flame devil roared and his devil sword crazily attacked the cage because of it endless flame energy erupted and the void shook yu kingchuan's face was pale and she repeatedly formed hand seals as the devil expert attacked blood began to leak out of her mouth staining her white dress like scarlet flowers heavens even without any energy left she can still trap this immemorial flame devil. If she was in peak condition, just how strong would she be? It's not the time for that. Don't we have to help, Fairy King Shuen? After all, she's also from the human race. Search Navaloon.com for the original. No need. Look, 
Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others are already being heroes saving the beauty. Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others were flying out. But people's expressions quickly changed. They are not going to help Fairy King Xuan. They are trying to kill Long Chen. Chapter 3552 Bastards Do they not know that we have to be united against the enemy at this time and save Fairy King Xuan? Furious roars rang out. Yu King Xuan was in crisis and was fighting against the devil race. Why didn't they save her first? Could their enmity with Long Chen not be settled at a later time? Just then, countless devil experts came flooding out, charging at Yu Qingxuan to help that immemorial flame devil. Although these devils knew that even without them, Yu Qingxuan would not be able to last much longer, this world was about to crumble. They had to quickly flee, and this battle had to be drawn to a close soon. Otherwise, it would be too late. Protect Fairy Qingxuan a human expert roared and was the first to charge out. Humans, nothing more than a despicable race of lifeforms. You should have never been born in this world. Wipe them out. Another lifeform suddenly shouted, and his blood kai erupted like a volcano. This vast blood kai shook the heavens. Navalun, Kamsi Gujarati Shunya M. It's the blood race. He's from the blood race. Startled cries rang out. The blood race was enemies with the human race just like the devil race. They were mortal enemies. There's also the nether race. Damn it. The devil race, blood race, and nether race's experts all appeared, no longer concealing their auras. They flooded forward. Don't be afraid. Our human race has more numbers than them. Sight. At this moment, the entire world became chaotic, and millions of experts began to clash. Zhao, Mingxuan, and the others hadn't expected the other world's experts to make their move at this time. They also wanted to go help the people from their own powers. However, eyeing Long Chen, Zhao Mingxuan clenched his teeth and said, Attack together to help Yan Hong kill Long Chen. Zhao Mingxuan and the others attacked together. All their world domain divine items slashed toward Long Chen. Boop. But then, a heaven-shaking explosion erupted and a flame sword pierced through the void. Huo Linger's figure appeared, blocking all their attacks with one blow. What? Zhao Mingxuan and the others were shocked. Their combined attack of over ten world domain divine items was actually blocked. How can that be? Wu Yang cried out. They recognized Huo Linger's true fire sword, but this world's domain divine item actually had 30% of its runes activated in her hands. It had to be known that it was only thanks to their bloodline power and the spiritual imprint of their ancestors that they were able to activate a tenth of the power of the world's domain divine items in their hands. Don't hesitate any longer. Use your greatest force. Zhao Mingxuan shouted and suddenly spat out a mouthful of essence blood onto his divine weapon. His weapon's light instantly soared. By igniting his essence blood, he unleashed more power from his world domain divine item. Following that, the others also stopped hesitating. After sacrificing their essence blood, their weapons instantly seemed to awaken, unleashing supreme divine might. Boop. Huo Linger was instantly forced back by their combined force. Huo Linger, quickly save King Shun. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, and he shouted at Huo Linger. That was because at this time, countless experts from the enemy races had broken through the blockade of the human race's experts to charge at Yu King Shun. Huo Linger instantly shot toward Yu King Shun only for Wu Yang to transform into a giant golden crow and block her path. At the same time, four others attacked her. Guo Linger could not get through. Long Chen, you should worry about yourselves. Zhao Mingxuan led the others to attack Long Chen. At this time, Long Chen and Yan Hong were crazily fighting over the flame energy of the world. 
seeing these people coming at him now long chen's eyes turned scarlet scram long chen roared furiously suddenly his divine ring stopped spinning and he gave up on absorbing the flame energy to attack Zhao Mingxuan and the others. But despite joining forces, Zhao Mingxuan and the others tumbled back. Even having ignited their essence blood, they couldn't block Long Chen's attack. All of them coughed up blood, shock filling their eyes. They finally experienced just how terrifying Long Chen's violet kai was. Now they understood why Yan Hong had promised them benefits if they helped him attack Long Chen. They could not even imagine just how terrifying Long Chen was. King Xuan. Long Chen clenched his teeth and suddenly shot toward Yu King Xuan. But he was still one step too late. That immemorial flame devil had escaped his bindings and reached her. Long Chen was too far to stop him. Boom! A dragon spear suddenly appeared blocking that immemorial flame devil's attack at the last moment, saving Yu Qingxuan. Fen Xian. Long Chen was shocked and delighted. Unexpectedly, Fen Xiang had saved Yu Qingxuan. He came at just the right time. How dare you block me? Die! The immemorial flame devil roared and slashed his sword at Feng Xiang. Feng Xiang then blocked with all his power, only to be blown back, and cough up blood. He wasn't a match for this immemorial flame devil. However, after blocking two attacks, he bought Long Chen enough time to appear by Yu Qingxuan's side. He then wrapped an arm around her waist. You fool, if you don't stop Yan Hong, we'll still die. Yu Qingxuan's eyes were listless, and blood dripped down her mouth. She sighed. If I could die with you, I would have no regrets. Long Chen felt like his heart was being cut to pieces, just looking at Yu Qingxuan in this weak state. Unable to contain the killing intent within him, the dark energy within his heart began to thrum. Wei, why do you treat me so well? Even though Yu Qingxuan was in her weakest state ever, she still started to redden when she looked at Long Chen. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon, come, because what I owe you cannot be repaid even through multiple lifetimes. I will always treat you well and never ask for anything in return. Long Chen looked into her eyes. He truly owed her far too much. He had already sworn to protect her, to not let her suffer any wound. But now, Yu Qingxuan was forced into such a weak state. So... Long Chen's fury could no longer be contained. His hair began to float despite there being no wind, and black runes began to appear within his eyes. Thank you. Looking at Long Chen's determined gaze, leaning against his body and smelling his scent that was full of a man's odor, Yu Qingchuan suddenly smiled. It seemed that life and death were no longer so important at this moment. Long Chen... You slaughtered my devil races, people. Today I will avenge them. The immemorial flame devil charged over. Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others also came charging over, sealing all his paths of retreat. He and Yu Qingxuan were caught in desperate straits. Seeing this, Long Chen summoned Huo Linger back. She then transformed into a flame dragon that wrapped around Yu Qingxuan, using her own power to help Yu Qingxuan recover. Qingxuan, close your eyes, said Long Chen. Why? asked Yu Qingxuan. Because it's about to get very bloody. Long Chen clenched his teeth and looked at that immemorial flame devil, as well as Zhao Mingxuan and the others. His killing intent could no longer be contained in the slightest, and it fully erupted. Chapter 3000 553 Long Chen's Killing Intent Sword. The terrifying Yan Hong had injured Yu Qingxuan, and in order to not be an inconvenience to Long Chen, Yu Qingxuan had exhausted herself just to let him absorb more flame energy and restrict Yan Hong's growth. However, at this critical time, groups of people stabbed blades in Long Chen's back. But even that wouldn't have enraged Long Chen this much. 
It was when their hands reached for Yu Kingshuan that he lost control. Now he was fully enraged. I'm not afraid. Yu Kingshuan leaned against Long Chen's back, gently pressing her face on Long Chen's shoulder and smiling slightly. You should still close your eyes. I wish that, as long as I am present, your beautiful eyes only see beautiful things. I don't want this dirty world to infect your eyes. Just let me face the darkness myself. Count it as me begging you, whispered Long Chen. Hearing that, Yu Qingxuan finally closed her eyes. She wrapped her arms around his neck tightly, smiling sweetly. At that moment, even if she was facing an endless army, even if sharp blades were about to pierce her body, Yu Qingxuan would still feel at peace and happy. Die! Seeing that Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan were still flirting at such a time, Xiao Mingxuan and the others were enraged. But the first one to charge forward was actually the immemorial Flame Devil. Flame Devil energy, Blood Devil possession. The immemorial Flame Devil's manifestation burst into existence behind him, and endless Devil Kai ignited. It was like an ancient devil had been released from a seal. After that, 30% of his Devil Sword's runes lit up. He had actually used his trump card activating his world domain divine item. At this moment, his devil sword roared. Split the heavens three. Black runes could vaguely be seen in Long Chen's eyes, and his aura became sinister and merciless. The Minghong saber then slashed down. There was no gust, no whistle, and no sign of any immense power. The Minghong saber's violet kai was completely condensed. When this saber fell, it was as if every sound was gone from this world. Crad, everyone was shocked. This silent blow of Long Chen's instantly unleashed an explosion of violet kai when it struck that devil sword, severing it and slaying that immemorial flame devil. What? Zhao Mingxuan and the others were appalled. A world domain divine item had actually been severed. How was that possible? Furthermore, that immemorial flame devil had clearly activated 30% of its runes. They were also capable of activating around 30% of their world domain divine items' runes. That way, they could unleash immense power that could shake the world. However, activating that many runes would come at a terrifying price. Normally, they only unleashed 10% of their world domain divine items' power. By igniting their essence blood, they could activate around 20% of their power. However, activating 30% of it would not just require igniting their essence blood, it would also require igniting their souls. It was something that used up their longevity and was incredibly damaging. Even then, this immemorial flame devil was unable to block Long Chen's attack. His devil sword was severed, and his physical body was destroyed. The power difference between the two was too great. At this time, they finally understood just how terrifying Long Chen was. This novel is available on Noveloon Calm, although the immemorial flame devil's sword and physical body had been destroyed, his Yuan spirit hadn't crumbled. It transformed into a streak of light that flew away. However, he had barely started flying when Long Chen's saber swung out. A violet saber image then shot out, chasing after that Yuan spirit. In the end, the Yuan spirit exploded and transformed into devil flames. After slaying that immemorial flame devil, Long Chen's gaze was still icy. He turned toward Zhao Mingxuan and the others. Where is that brother from the lava giant race? At this time, Long Chen's spiritual strength swept over the battlefield, but he didn't sense the aura of that lava giant. In that instant, the black runes in Long Chen's eyes increased by a bit. Zhao Mingxuan and the others were terrified. They felt the devil god was staring at them. That intense terror filled their hearts. That lava giant had helped Long Chen and enraged them. Thus, they joined forces to kill him. 
Now that Long Chen asked about him, they were terror-stricken. Gun, that was their first reaction. Long Chen's attack had not just killed that immemorial flame devil, but it had also destroyed their confidence. Before Long Chen had unleashed a terrifying power in his fight with Yan Hong, they ultimately felt that as long as they activated their world domain divine items, they should also possess power that could destroy heaven and earth. Even if they weren't a match for Long Chen in a one against one, there were so many of them. Long Chen should still be dead once they fell on him. However, Long Chen's saber was capable of severing even world domain divine items. Only now were they shocked to find that Long Chen's terrifying power was completely incomprehensible. Hence, they spat out blood on their weapons at almost the same time. After that, their divine items quivered and brought them flying away straight to the exit. A group of idiots. Do you think that you can run? If you kill people, you must pay with your own life. Leave your life behind. Long Chen clenched his teeth and shot after them. He no longer cared about Yan Hong. That was because most of the flame energy had been absorbed out of this world. Stopping him at this point would be meaningless anyway. Hence, he cast all his anger on these idiots that didn't know respect. Long Chen's speed was raised to its peak. Although they shot off first, he quickly caught up to them. Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others were so terrified that their souls almost fled out of their bodies. Ignoring everything else, they directly started igniting their souls, causing their divine items to shine even brighter. They were willing to sacrifice their longevity just to increase their speed. It could be seen just how terrified they were now. They had thought that at this moment, Yan Hong would come to attack Long Chen. However, they seemed to have overthought it. Yan Hong was already done absorbing the flame energy of the world and was simply sitting in the air, seemingly digesting it. As for them, they became stray dogs. Seeing Long Chen refusing to let them off, they were filled with regrets. If they had known that Long Chen was so terrifying from the start, they would have never provoked him. Click. As long as we reach the exit, Long Chen's definitely dead. Wu Yang clenched his teeth. Although he was a three-foot golden crow, it was actually faster for him to ignite his essence blood and soul to flee with his world domain divine item. A group of peak heavenly geniuses were burning their essence blood and souls just to run. That was definitely a huge humiliation for them. Moreover, they didn't dare to fight Long Chen head on. Even if they all joined forces, they didn't dare to do so. They were afraid of Long Chen killing them one by one. If that happened, then they might all die within the heavenly flame world. Suddenly, the heavenly flame world quivered, and everyone inside felt a burst of power. There was no need for them to run. It was like a merciless hand was shoving them directly to the exit. The world rapidly shrank and the exit appeared right before them. At the exit, countless experts were gathered, staring in horror at what they were seeing. They saw space twisting and collapsing. It was like a giant mouth was trying to devour this entire world. Then they saw a group of heavenly geniuses fleeing like stray dogs out of this crumbling world. Long Chen, return Luo Zijin's life. Very quickly, these elders spotted Zhao Mingxuan and the others as well as Long Chen. One elder in particular immediately roared in fury, charging through just to attack Long Chen. Chapter 3554 The One Roaring was precisely the valley master of the magnificent Cliff Valley. Ever since Luo Zijin was slain, he had been waiting here, waiting for Long Chen to appear to get revenge for Luo Zijin. But the most important thing for him was to reclaim the Phoenix Blood Heavenly Silk Net. Hence, when he saw Long Chen, he charged out first with a halo of light behind his head. That was the World King Divine Radiance. The World King Divine Radiance was a mark of status of a World King. 
early stage world kings were unable to summon a very powerful world king divine radiance, and only those in the mid-stage could unleash its real power. Also, those capable of unleashing the world king divine radiance were the only existences that could rely on their own power to control world domain divine items. As for those previous experts of the Soaring Dragon Company, despite the Soaring Dragon Company clearly possessing some world domain divine items, they hadn't used them, not because they didn't want to, but because those early stage world kings were unable to use their power. At this moment, the valley master of the magnificent Cliff Valley charged at Long Chen, his sword piercing toward him, against a mere divine lord. He actually unleashed his full power. He was clearly not going to give Long Chen any chance. Stay your hand. The two elders of Yu Qingchuan were startled. Just now, they had only seen Long Chen. So, it was only once this valley master attacked that they realized Yu Qingchuan was on Long Chen's back. However, by the time they reacted, the valley master had already attacked, instantly reaching Long Chen. Long Chen then swung his hand, and the phoenix blood heavenly silk net opened. Without him having to do anything, it caught the valley master. What? A the valley master was shocked to be caught by the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. He hadn't expected that his magnificent Cliff Valley's priceless treasure would be something that Long Chen was capable of using. Boom! His sword struck it head on merely causing a muffled sound. The giant net was too elastic, and his terrifying attack's force was dissipated throughout it. The valley master's expression changed. He knew just how terrifying the phoenix blood heavenly silk net was. Once caught, there would be no escaping. Hence, the valley master spat out a mouthful of blood onto the phoenix blood heavenly silk net, and Long Chen felt it quiver. Powerful spiritual strength started to sink into the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. Just then, its light increased. It actually refused to listen to Long Chen's orders and began to rebel. The phoenix blood heavenly silk net was originally the divine weapon of the magnificent Cliff Valley. It had been nourished by countless generations of valley masters, and it only submitted to Long Chen because it had no choice. Now that the valley master was calling out to it again, it immediately started to resist, using the power of the valley master's essence blood to dispel Long Chen's spiritual mark. Just then, another terrifying world king attacked, his sword going for Long Chen's back. You dared to kill my disciple and steal my true fire sword, you must be tired of living, shouted this elder, his voice like thunder. It's the true fire sect's patriarch. A startled cry rang out as someone recognized this elder. Heavens, two seventh heaven stage world kings are attacking a mid-stage divine lord together. It was already shocking enough for the valley master to attack. But for the patriarch of the true fire sect to attack as well, one from the front and the other from behind, were they not afraid of losing face? Scram! Long Chen had been focusing on resisting the valley master, not wanting to lose the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. For the true fire sect's patriarch to also attack him now, he was enraged. The Mingong saber then slashed behind him. Oh! In front of countless dumbfounded gazes, Long Chen's saber unleashed a burst of divine light that actually caused the true fire sect's patriarch to be blown back three whole steps. Every step sent him hundreds of miles away, causing the void beneath his feet to collapse. How can that be? Countless experts stared in shock at Long Chen. A little mid-stage divine lord had actually forced back a late-stage world king. Suddenly, Yu Qingxuan coughed up blood and fresh blood covered Long Chen's neck, dyeing his clothes. A quick look at Navalun Kam will leave you more fulfilled. King Shun, Long Chen was shocked. With that attack just now, in her weak state, Yu King Shun was injured. I, I'm fine. 
Don't worry about me. Yu Kingshuan squeezed out a smile when she saw Long Chen's concern. That slight smile caused Long Chen to feel like millions of vipers were thrashing within his heart. His expression gradually became colder. Thumb, thumb, thumb. The world fell silent. Long Chen could no longer hear any of the sounds of the outside world. He could only hear his own heart beating. Are you angry? Are you foolish? Are you still questioning whether killing is wrong? If you could make it so that everyone was afraid of you, would you be forced into this situation? A voice rang out in Long Chen's mind, asking questions of him, interrogating his inner heart and soul. Long Chen, are you all right? Yu Qingxuan suddenly sensed something wrong with Long Chen. Long Chen's eyes had turned completely black. They were like two black holes. At the end of these black holes was an endless hell of death, one that could devour the ten thousand worlds. For Long Chen to suddenly become motionless while Yu Qingxuan cried out, countless people thought that it was the result of receiving the attack of the true fire sect's patriarch. He was probably too injured to move. Zhao Mingxuan and the others had been flying away, but seeing this, they were delighted. This was their best chance to kill Long Chen. It was also their only way to cover up how embarrassing it was when they fled like stray dogs. Long Chen, you idiot, die. Zhao Mingxuan and the others instantly pounced. There were also the experts of the devil race, nether race, and blood race as well. Long Chen had killed countless members of their races, so it didn't matter who killed Long Chen. They would all be heroes of their races and naturally wouldn't let go of this chance. Tens of thousands of experts attacked Long Chen at once, and this scene shook everyone watching. Long Chen, what is wrong? Wake up, shouted Yu Qingxuan hurriedly. Long Chen suddenly reached out and rubbed her cheek warmly. Although his face was still icy, his voice was warm. I'm fine. I just feel very aggrieved, very angry. I just want to protect you, so why are some people always trying to harm you? They have no respect in their hearts. They constantly challenge my bottom line, constantly forcing me down one path. Since that's the case, fine. I will become a devil that slaughters this world. Long Chen Yu. Yu Qingxuan stared at Long Chen, feeling stunned. Long Chen's black eyes looked very frightening. However, she could sense the warmth that Long Chen felt for her inside. It seemed as if Long Chen was willing to destroy this entire world for her. Suddenly, the flames around Yu Qingxuan's body vanished. Long Chen threw her out, causing her to appear before her two protectors instantly. Once Yu Qingxuan was sent away, Long Chen's face became cold once more. His gaze swept over everyone. It was like a devil had been reborn. Chapter 3555 Seeing Yu Qingxuan flying over, those two elders were delighted. They hastily caught her and brought her flying away from the battlefield. No, I don't want to leave Long Chen. Elders, please save Long Chen. As Yu Qingxuan was dragged away, her tears overflowed. She saw Long Chen be drowned by countless experts. Those two elders exchanged a glance, both seeing the other's profound powerlessness. They had to protect Yu Qingxuan at all costs. As for saving Long Chen, the two of them were completely unable to do so. The valley master of the magnificent Cliff Valley was currently reclaiming the phoenix blood heavenly silk net. Just as he was about to erase Long Chen's spiritual seal, black smoke suddenly came out of the net, racking his soul with sharp pain. Just as his mind went blank, the Minghong saber stabbed through his head from a strange angle. The valley master didn't even get a chance to grunt before being killed. The phoenix blood heavenly silk net then appeared in Long Chen's hands. It was quivering, crying out as if wailing, yet also as if it was pleading for mercy. I dislike traitors the most. 
the spiritual mark that i placed on you isn't an absolute slave mark but you didn't recognize this kindness and decided to betray me as expected mercy to your enemy is cruelty to yourself fine since you want to die you can die long chen expressionlessly flung it out the next moment the phoenix blood heavenly silk net instantly stretched to its maximum size covering everyone attacking him including Zhao Mingxuan and the others. Not good. Killing the elder, reclaiming the net, flinging it out, all these occurred in an instant. Long Chen didn't give them any chance to react. Zhao Mingxuan and the others were charging over crazily. When the net was thrown out, they flew straight into it. Zhao Mingxuan and the others appeared as though they had taken the initiative to simply fling themselves into the net. By the time they reacted, they were all caught. Tens of thousands of experts were contained within this net. Break out of this together, shouted Zhao Mingxuan, novel loon, calm explode. Before they could even wave their weapons, Long Chen's cry rang out and the phoenix blood heavenly silk net exploded. All its threads crumbled, with a single strand remaining. It quickly pierced through the air. This thread was the main thread of the phoenix blood heavenly silk net, and it was the only one that came from a divine venerate phoenix blood heavenly silkworm. It whipped through the air, emitting a sharp sound. At the same time as the phoenix blood heavenly silk net exploded, space was compressed. Zhao Mingxuan and the others were squeezed from all sides. As for that single surviving thread, it whipped through this space like a bomb, cutting them in two. But this silk that came from a divine venerate phoenix blood, heavenly silkworm, then exploded. Even with world domain divine items protecting them, Zhao Mingxuan and the others were unable to endure that terrifying force. Tens of thousands of experts exploded at once, and a rain of blood fell. Long Chen lost a top-grade world domain divine item. As for Zhao Mingxuan and the others, they lost their physical bodies. The weaker experts caught in the explosion lost their souls as well. Due to having protective world domain divine items, Zhao Mingxuan and the others managed to keep their Yuan spirits intact. Feeling horrified, they fled with their world domain divine items. You think you can run? Long Chen clenched his teeth and swept out the Ming Ong saber. A giant saber image then came crashing down. Boop! Dozens of world domain divine items were sent flying. They pierced through the void, fleeing in every direction. The world domain divine items didn't break. But the UN spirits in control of them received such an impact that some of them directly shattered. Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and two other powerful human experts had their Yuan spirits covered in cracks, but they didn't die. Their Yuan spirits were stronger than the others. Long Chen. At this moment, countless world kings came charging out of the crowd. They were all mid- and late-stage world kings, and they had come to receive their disciples. But then... Long Chen killed tens of thousands of heavenly geniuses from various races, enraging them. Suddenly, heaven and earth collapsed and a sun blazed, igniting the world. A giant golden crow appeared, one of its claws reaching toward Long Chen. That expert of the golden crow race wanted to save Wu Yang, so he immediately unleashed his manifestation. This claw covered the battlefield, freezing its space. He was the fastest, and his attack was the first to arrive. Wu Yang was delighted. However, Long Chen's black eyes contained icy killing intent, and Violet Kai continued to come out of him. When his aura gushed out, the frozen space instantly unfroze. Not good. That expert of the Golden Crow race was shocked. His innate divine ability actually failed and was unable to lock Long Chen down. Yang Er, run. Regretfully, Long Chen didn't give him any such chance. The Minghong saber slashed toward Wu Yang. No, 
Wu Yang cried out. He was completely locked down by this saber. He couldn't flee and was powerless to resist. He could only watch as this saber ended his life. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon. Kam Wu Yang's Yu in spirit was blasted apart. As for his world, domain divine item, at this critical moment it abandoned him and flew toward that expert of the golden crow race. Clearly, that world, domain divine item, possessed a certain spirituality and knew that it couldn't protect Wu Yang. Thus, it saved itself the effort. Long Chen, I'll tear your corpse into ten thousand pieces. The expert of the golden crow race unleashed a heaven-shaking roar. His killing intent exploded. Long Chen had actually killed Wu Yang right in front of him. This was an unprecedented humiliation for the Golden Crow race. Someone who wishes to kill me must be prepared to be killed by me. Today, I will teach you just how important it is to have respect in your heart. Long Chen snorted, and just as he was about to attack Zhao Mingxuan and the other two, the world suddenly quivered. All the experts within the heavenly flame world, regardless of cultivation base, felt their bodies shudder. An irresistible power struck them, sending them tumbling out of the exit. Boom! The heavenly flame world's exit slammed shut, and millions of experts were sent flying out. The outside of the Dragon Blaze Prefecture had long since been packed with experts of various races. They were waiting for the people of their races. Since many of them were flame attribute cultivators, they couldn't enter the heavenly flame world, so they were stuck waiting here. What they hadn't expected was for the spatial gates to suddenly explode, and then countless experts came flying out in a current of flames. This scene shocked countless people. They didn't know what had happened. This seemed to be different from the past openings of the heavenly flame world. After a moment of shock, someone cried out, Heavens, isn't that young master Ming Shun? How does he only have a Yuan spirit left? Boom. Before they could get a clearer understanding of the situation, a saber wrapped in violet kai slashed down. As a result, Zhao Ming Shun screamed in despair as his Yuan spirit crumbled. That scene caused countless jaws to drop. It's Long Chen. When they saw the attacker, cries of terror rang out. Chapter 3556 The people in the outside world were all stunned. They had come to watch the fun. After all, every time the heavenly flame world closed, there would be a fight between the various forces. In the heavenly flame world, killing people for their treasures was a common occurrence. That planted the fuse for enmity. Once the powers of the slain disciple learned of what had happened, they would come here to avenge their disciple. If their power was a bit stronger than the other side, they would directly wipe out the other side. If they were equally powerful, they would just eliminate the disciples of the other side, avenging their disciple and winning back some face. If the other side was too powerful and couldn't be provoked, they would only be able to swallow this grievance, not even daring to let out a fart. Every time the heavenly flame world closed, there would be some fights. But every time, the heavenly flame world was different, so the conflicts would vary as well. They had thought that the closing this time around would definitely cause quite a few conflicts. Thus, people had long since found seats to watch from. However, they hadn't expected the gates to the world to directly crumble and Long Chen to come charging out and slay Zhao Mingxuan. That was the peak heavenly genius of the raging flame heavenly palace, the palace master's personal disciple. He possessed immense power and limitless potential. However, such a heavenly genius had been slain by Long Chen. This scene was unbelievable. Within the Dragon Blaze Prefecture's ancient city, Feng Zhang's father watched as space collapsed and countless experts came out. His gaze roved around the flood of people until he spotted Feng Zhang. He then sighed with relief. Although he had expelled Feng Zhang from the family, it was for his own good. Feng Zhang was his child, 
so he couldn't possibly not worry. Long Chen, you bastard, die. Just then, the elder of the Golden Crow race came charging over at Long Chen with a world domain divine item in his hand. The spectators were shocked to see how furious he appeared to be. He wasn't holding back at all, and his eyes were full of killing intent. Could it be? Everyone's gaze swept over the crowd. As expected, they didn't see any sign of Wu Yang. Did that mean that? Some people who were well informed about Long Chen's enmity with Zhao Mingxuan and the others quickly scanned the flood of people with their divine sense. They were shocked to find that amongst that crowd of people other than Feng Xiang, the others were all gone. A guess that they didn't even dare to believe then appeared in their minds. Long Chen, return my apprentice's life. Another furious roar rang out and space shuddered. After that, an elder came charging out with raging killing intent. It's the raging flame Heavenly Palace's master. Countless experts came charging out from every direction. What shocked everyone was that they were all major forces. Essentially, all of them could be considered local overlords in this place. Countless life forms of the devil race, blood race, nether race, and others were also attacking Long Chen. All of them appeared completely infuriated. Theft is never good. Try looking at Navaloon. Come, what did Long Chen do? It could be said that many people knew Long Chen because his name was truly resounding. He was the number one academy's youngest branch dean a ruthless figure who dared to plunder the Soaring Dragon Company. Hence, countless people had been wondering whether or not Long Chen would survive being hunted by Zhao Mingxuan and the others in the Heavenly Flame world. As a result, they personally witnessed Long Chen kill Zhao Mingxuan, and the various elders of the major powers were attacking him. Their jaws dropped. Scram! His life is mine! Just as countless people were attacking Long Chen, a roar came from within the ruins of the spatial gate. That voice made countless people's souls quiver. Boom! When space exploded, a clump of raging flames charged out like a shooting star. As soon as it appeared, the flame energy of the world ignited. Moreover, the flame star had yet to even arrive but a violently surging flame energy already compressed the 10,000 Daos to the point that they wailed. Yan Tzu flame! Shocked cries rang out when they saw the black vapor coming from that blood-colored flame. They recognized this to be the strongest flame within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands, and it was also the most evil flame. The Yan Zhu Flame, Navalun, come many of the people here didn't enter the heavenly flame world. But even amongst those that did, many didn't know about Yan Hong. Now that Yan Hong appeared, he stunned everyone. They hadn't expected the heavenly flame world this time to draw over the Yan Zhu Flame. At this moment, those experts charging at Long Chen came to a pause. Yan Hong's attack had been brewing for a long time, and even they were covered by it. However, in front of this full-power attack, Long Chen didn't retreat in the slightest. Starry sea births, Violet Kai, draw stars into the cosmos. Long Chen shouted and his star diagram quivered. All of a sudden, ninety-nine stars lit up together. In that instant, people couldn't help looking up. It vaguely seemed as if there were other stars lighting up in the sky above the nine heavens. Even in the daytime, they could sense it. Evans, Senior Long Chen, is using the starry river of the sky art to draw in astral energy. An emotional cry rang out. This was a fellow cultivator of the starry river of the sky art. He had previously listened to Long Chen discuss the Tao. Hence, he was reverent and worshipful toward Long Chen. Also, he hadn't expected to see Long Chen here and personally witness him draw astral energy into his body. The moment Long Chen activated this, 99 stars amongst his 108,000 stars quivered intensely. Energy as vast as the sea then poured throughout his body. 
This power was incomparably fierce. It was like a flood, but it didn't belong to Long Chen. It was something that Long Chen had drawn from above the nine heavens using the starry river of the sky art. Also, this power could not be stored and could only be unleashed. If Long Chen tried to stop it, he himself would be blown apart. Up until now, this was the greatest amount of power that Long Chen had ever unleashed, a power that pushed him to his limits. In the heavenly flame world, Long Chen was unable to sense the power of the stars. He couldn't draw their power into his body. Now, he was no longer restricted in that regard. As this power coursed through his body, he slashed the Minghong saber, striking first despite starting second. The Minghong saber's violet kai gushed out and ninety-nine stars lit up. This was a saber that made the world change color. A saber that seemed like it would tear the world apart. Boop! The saber slammed into the flame star. After that, the flame star crumbled, exposing a black spear that clashed with Long Chen's saber. The collision caused a huge explosion. It felt like a celestial gong had been rung, shattering the ten thousand daos. As a result, a ripple of death rapidly spread and devoured the dome of the heavens. It destroyed the land and caused heaven and earth to be devoid of their original color. As that ripple of death spread, those experts charging at Long Chen hastily turned and fled. However, the world kings that had been charging at him didn't have time to dodge. They could only be devoured by that black ripple. Chapter 3557 This was an irresistible power, something that could destroy heaven and earth. Even world kings were as weak as ants in front of this power. A quick look at Navalun Kam will leave you more fulfilled. Early stage world kings were instantly turned into nothingness, while mid stage world kings were caught up to buy that black ripple and instantly had their bodies explode. Those without world domain divine items to protect themselves didn't even get to keep their Yuan spirits. Only late stage world kings that were old monsters had sensed the danger early enough and had fled at the start, creating some distance from the core. Despite that, they were still struck by that black ripple and sent rumbling out, hacking up blood. Their injuries were not light. The most shocking thing of all was that this black ripple contained destructive power that didn't just damage their physical bodies but also invaded their souls. After that black ripple passed, a giant hole appeared in the earth. Also, flames still burned in the sky, and there were spatial cracks everywhere. The originally blue sky had already lost its color. The clear day had become black night. Heaven and earth had completely changed as if the end of the world had come. Even far off in the Dragon Blaze Prefecture, the commoners in the city were quivering with fear, hiding in their rooms and not even daring to look outside. The Yan Zhu flame can burn the ten thousand daos and devour the ten thousand flames. There is no power that can resist it. That a late-stage world king spoke, his voice shuddering. The Yan Zhu flame was known to all flame cultivators. It was said to be the strongest flame in the nine heavens and ten lands, an unrivaled existence is the starry river of the sky art whose inheritance was lost really so powerful. Can it resist the Yan Zhu flame? People didn't dare to believe their eyes. The starry river of the sky art was famous as well. Furthermore, just recently, Long Chen had gone to the ruins of the starry river palace and expounded on the Tao, selflessly sharing the starry river of the sky art with the public. That news had rapidly spread. Now that Long Chen summoned the Starry River Manifestation, drawing in astral power, he unleashed astonishing power that shook countless people. It seemed that the Starry River of the Sky Art was even stronger than the legends. The collision of both of their attacks killed an unknown number of world kings. Such power was something that terrified even late-stage world kings. The cracks filling the sky rumbled, slowly healing. 
up in the sky, Long Chen pointed the Ming'ang saber at the distant Yan Hong. Yan Hong held his black spear, his hair flying in the wind. He stared at Long Chen. What strange power! It was actually capable of receiving my full power attack. However, your violet Kai has been used up, right? What will you take out to receive my next attack? It was at this moment that everyone realized that the violet Kai in the starry river behind Long Chen was gone. Clearly, Long Chen had used up everything just to block Hian Hong's attack. You're too tired. You need to rest. Let me out. Just then, an extremely enticing voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. Long Chen instantly felt a bout of weariness. Scram! Long Chen shouted, shaking his mind awake. Just now, his heart devil had launched a mental attack to try to take over. He knew that in this moment of utmost rage, his heart devil was growing active, looking for a chance to take over this body. Last time, the heavenly rainbow fairy had helped him suppress the heart devil. If the heart devil did take over again, this time there would be no one to wake him up. Long Chen's shout was to his heart devil, but people took it to be toward Yan Hong. Yan Hong then snorted and actually put away his black spear. His manifestation quivered and a black spear of light appeared. The rest of his manifestation slowly flowed into that sphere. When Yan Hong's manifestation was sucked up, a black rune appeared on his forehead. He now truly appeared like a devil. He coldly said, I didn't expect to run into an expert like you this time. But you're out of energy now, no. In order to express my respect for you, I will use my Yan Zhu Racy's strongest attack to end you. This attack contains the Yan Zhu line's primal chaos energy. Are you prepared? As Yan Hong spoke, people saw black threads appear within that sphere. Those black threads gave off a sinister will, but also a primordial energy. People's souls quivered. Even late-stage world kings were shaken by those threads. They could sense the call of death from those threads, and they felt as minuscule as ants. You need my power. Otherwise, you will die here. Long Chen's heart devil once more rang out in his mind. Without even being aware of it, Long Chen had the purgatory eyes active. The dark energy was swelling, but Long Chen didn't want to use that dark energy. Navaloon calm that was because he didn't trust in something he could control. If his heart devil took advantage of that moment to take over, it would be difficult to turn the tables back. Yan Hong was very terrifying. If he hadn't caused the three divine venerate heavenly flame beasts to detonate, Long Chen was ninety percent sure that his third blow would have killed him. The repeated blows of split the heavens had been interrupted. Then, at immemorial flame devil, as well as Yao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others had joined in, disturbing Long Chen and completely messing up his rhythm. Long Chen had killed so many experts, and that had depleted his precious violet Kai. Just now, in order to block Yan Hong's fully charged attack, he had been forced to draw in the power of the stars. Although he had managed to block it, that had used up all the remaining violet Kai in his body. He could no longer summon astral energy again. At this time, his heart devil tried to seduce him. Long Chen defended his mind, preventing his heart devil from disturbing him. After putting away the Minghong saber, a flame lotus blossomed in his hand. Sacred chanting once more filled the air. Long Chen's flame lotus grew explosively. Ten miles, a hundred miles, a thousand miles, ten thousand miles. In just a breath's time, it filled the sky, and a terrifying pressure crashed down, shaking the world. That destructive power caused the nine heavens to change color. In his fury, Long Chen was summoning all the flame energy that he had absorbed from the heavenly flame world. He didn't hold back at all. Everyone was stunned by this. The range of this attack was absolutely horrifying. 
after explosively growing in size to 10,000 miles, it then began to slowly compress. 10,000 miles, 9,000 miles, 8,000 miles. As it compressed, its pressure grew even greater, even more terrifying. Hence, everyone's expression completely changed, including Yan Hong's. Yan Hong had a bad feeling. Only 80% of the power of his manifestation had entered his spear, but he could no longer wait. He directly launched this spear of flames. Space-time runes broke and danced in front of it. It was shattering the world as it moved through space. Yan Zhu heaven breaking attack. At this moment, the flame lotus in Long Chen's hand had been compressed to the limit. It could no longer be compressed, and he shoved it forward. World Extermination Flame Lotus. Two clumps of flames, both containing apocalyptic power, clashed viciously in front of the stunned gazes of millions of experts. Chapter 3558 Yan Hong had used his core energy with this attack, not holding anything back. As for Long Chen's World Extermination Flame Lotus, he had merged the flame energy of the heavenly Daos with the huge amount of flames he had gathered in the primal chaos space, unleashing a horrifying attack. This world extermination flame lotus gave no room to dodge. When this attack fell, it was a front-on attack where the only thing that mattered was power. Boom! The two flames crashed together, and it was like the sun had exploded within this black world. A giant hole was blasted into the wall of the heavens. The huge hole had flames still burning within it, and darkness devoured them. But the flames outside the hole gushed out like a tsunami. The wave of flames gushed out, turning mountains into flat lands, turning the earth into lava. A terrifying heat unfurled, and even the Dragon Blaze Prefecture, which was thousands of miles away, was affected. The grand formation of the prefecture city had long since been activated. However, what the Dragon Blaze prefecture's experts had not expected was for the flames to cause the formation's runes to rapidly break apart. Not good. The city lord's expression completely changed. He hadn't expected Long Chen and Yan Hong's flames to contain such terrifying destructive power. The formation's runes instantly lost effect. If this formation was broken, then perhaps the Divine Lords and above in the city would be fine. But the millions of weaker commoners would instantly turn to ash. However, what no one had expected was for a figure to suddenly appear standing before the wave of flames just as they broke through the formation. He smashed his world domain divine item at the oncoming flames. It's Zhang Er. The city lord was shocked. With Fang Zhang's current power, even with a world domain divine item, he couldn't possibly block such terrifying flames. Boot. However, curiously, the moment Fang Zhang appeared before the city, the endless flames suddenly parted, going around the Dragon Blaze Prefecture's ancient city and flying past. Originally, Fang Zhang had also known that if he tried to block it, it would be difficult to escape death but he had still chosen to come out. It was unknown if it was because he really was such a chivalrous hero inside, or if it was because he wanted to use his own death to prove just how big of a mistake it had been for his father to expel him. In any case, he had appeared there with no plans of surviving. When the flames passed around his body, he was dumbfounded. For a moment, he saw a flame dragon appear within the wave of flames before him. Long Chen. Feng Xiang's heart shook. It wasn't him that saved the dragon blaze city. It was Long Chen who had done so secretly. At that moment, having escaped death, Feng Xiang felt complicated emotions. Originally, he had decided to use his death to prove himself. At the same time, he would use this as revenge against his father. He hated his father for his mercilessness. However, he hadn't expected Long Chen to have long since expected that the range of this attack might reach this far 
and had set up a way for the blazing dragon prefecture to survive from the start a quick look at Navaloon calm will leave you more fulfilled it was just that his actions were very concealed on the surface it really did look like feng Xiang had taken that sure death attack and blown it to the sides protecting the dragon blaze prefecture his mind buzzed blankly you saved king Xuan's life and i saved your dragon blaze city from this moment we owe each other nothing suddenly an icy spiritual fluctuation was sent into his soul shaking feng Xiang's whole body after that the void twisted and feng Xiang felt an immense suction force he then found himself within the dragon blaze city and his father nodded at him with gratification starting today you are the city lord of the dragon blaze prefecture did feng Xiang looked at his father in disbelief when you put down your selfishness and could think for others you have passed my trial feng Xiang's father patted him on the shoulder dead it was long chen feng Xiang hastily rejected this he had his own pride and refused to accept praise for something that he hadn't done feng Xiang's father interrupted him your heroism was seen by everyone sometimes the process isn't that important what is needed is the result no matter what your goal was in coming forward the moment you are willing to sacrifice your life for the commoners of the city you are qualified to be the city lord only then did feng Xiang realize that the entire city's people were looking at him reverently their gazes were full of gratitude and respect for him it was completely different from those gazes that were afraid of his abuse in that instant feng Xiang felt a hundred different emotions including shame and guilt he now understood that if he wanted to gain the respect of others it wasn't through using martial might to suppress them outside of the city the flames were whistling loudly devouring this world the spectators might have fled quickly but they were still devoured by the sea of flames they had been prepared though so they most likely hadn't been killed it was just unknown how far they were blown away Boot. suddenly another heaven-shaking explosion erupted from the core shocking the people they are still fighting the void was torn apart and they saw the ming hong saber forcing yan hong out of a spatial crack as yan hong was constantly being forced back the void behind him exploded repeatedly unleashing a spray of flames people found that long chen's body was out of veil at kai but there was still a large amount of veil at Kai on the Ming Hong saber that was forcing Yan Hong down, not giving him a chance to breathe. You really have some ability. I didn't expect you to be so powerful. But it's useless. My Yan Zhu race is an undying, indestructible existence. As long as the world's flames are not extinguished, I cannot die. Your violet Kai might be powerful, but it can't kill me furthermore as time passes you lose more and more violet kai but the world's flames can't be extinguished and so my power will never run out how will you fight me now ya hung roared with his face twisted sinisterly despite his loud voice he was already out of breath he was starting to pant this roar shook countless people as expected he actually lost in a frontal collision he was unable to beat long chen and could only rely on his undying body to slowly exhaust long chen yan hong's aura was already in the late divine lord realm and he was the strongest flame of the nine heavens and ten lands no one in the same realm should be capable of fighting him however he had actually lost to a human how was that possible long chen gazed at him coldly his eyes full of killing intent and his voice full of ice-cold mercilessness your big brother devoured the heavenly rainbow fairy and you harmed my lover i already said that you wouldn't be leaving here alive today you are definitely dead long chen's violet kai crazily erupted on his ming hong saber it ignited crazily crushing down on yan hong it seemed that this was the final competition between them 
it would be a competition to see who wouldn't be able to continue first. A black room lit up on Yan Hong's forehead. When that room lit up, his body became the loosery. Clearly, he was also using his final bit of energy. Both of them were already exhausted. Fool in this world. No one can kill my Yan Zhu race. The person to die will only be you, shouted Yan Hong coldly. Is that so? Long Chen held his saber in his right hand. All of a sudden, his left hand struck as quickly as lightning, a single finger striking that black rune on Yan Hong's forehead. The moment his finger touched Yan Hong's forehead, a white lotus appeared on Long Chen's fingertip. Also, when the white lotus manifested, the hot temperature of the world plummeted. The heat had been directly frozen, and snowflakes appeared in the air. I soul! Yan Hong suddenly cried out in terror. He wanted to dodge, but it was too late. The moment Long Chen's finger touched Yan Hong's forehead, the ice soul energy poured into that rune. As a result, that rune shattered and Yan Hong's aura vanished. Chapter 3559 The rune on Yan Hong's forehead was pierced through by the ice soul energy and shattered instantly. Long Chen had been waiting a long time for this chance having tried countless times to kill Yan Hong. His violet Kai might be able to harm Yan Hong, but it was unable to kill him. Yan Hong was a flame body, so other energies were unable to cause him substantial wounds. Even Long Chen's violet Kai was unable to do so. Flames either had to be extinguished with water energy or overwhelmed with flame energy. The only thing that Long Chen had in his hands that could possibly kill Yan Hong was that trace of ice soul energy. However, this trace of ice soul energy wasn't very powerful. It was not the true ice soul divine flame. If he had used it at the start, it wouldn't necessarily be able to threaten Yan Hong. It was another story now, though. Yan Hong's core energy was exhausted so he had no choice but to summon the final dregs of his energy in the form of this rune. Long Chen's chance was finally here. After Yan Hong was wiped out by this attack, a flame dragon appeared and devoured Yan Hong's core runes. In order to kill Yan Hong, all the food that was stored for Huo Linger had been exhausted. Hence, Huo Linger naturally wouldn't let off Yan Hong's flames. She devoured it, treating it as a kind of compensation. Yan Hong was slain, dumbfounding countless experts. The battle might have ended, but there were still endless flames burning. They didn't dissipate for a long time. Yan Zhu's son was slain. All the experts that had entered the heavenly flame world were filled with disbelief. He, he was Yan Zhu's son. Long Chen killed Yan Zhu's son. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon come an uproar exploded. Yan Zhu was called the Flame Sovereign, the strongest flame of the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands, as well as the most evil flame. The senior generation all knew of him. However, there were many branches of Yan Zhu flames, so no one had expected that the one Long Chen just killed would be the Flame Sovereign's son. People then stared at Long Chen in shock and terror. Long Chen had killed the Flame Sovereign's son. That was a huge calamity for him. Who could withstand the wrath of the Flame Sovereign? Would there be a place for Long Chen to hide in the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands? Some people even began to leave for fear that the Flame Sovereign would suddenly descend and they would be implicated by Long Chen. Perhaps the entire chaotic star sea was going to be destroyed. Long Chen suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood. After repeated battles, he had used up too much energy. Summoning the starry sea birth's violet Kai manifestation had caused his power to soar, but it had put an immense burden on his body as well. The current him still had some difficulty summoning it. Furthermore, he had also summoned astral energy from outside his body. That was not his energy, and forcibly using it had caused him injury. 
Moreover, this kind of injury was something that not even the primal Caius Bede could immediately heal. He had been suppressing his wounds the entire time just to kill Yan Hong. Now that the latter was dead, he could no longer endure any more and spat out blood. Lightning wings appeared on his back. If he didn't leave now, it would be too late. Those late-stage world kings were like tigers watching their prey. Before they recovered from their shock, he had to flee. Fortunately, while Long Chan and Huo Linger were completely exhausted, Lei Linger still had plenty of power. He could flee at full speed. Then, not even these late-stage world kings could catch up to him. But all of a sudden, startled cries rang out in the distance. Long Chen looked in that direction and instantly froze. You are courting death. Just then, a furious roar rang out. People looked over and didn't dare to believe their eyes. The master of the raging flame Heavenly Palace had appeared behind Yu Qingxuan at some point. Those two protectors by her side had been sent flying. That palace master then pointed his sword at Yu Qingxuan's back. Yu Qingxuan's life was in his hands. Seeing this, everyone was dumbfounded. Has he gone mad? Does he not know that Yu Qingxuan's master is Dong Feng Zichu? That's a divine venerate. People stared in disbelief at him. Just how illustrious was Yu Qingxuan's status? He dared to use her as a hostage. Was he not afraid of Dong Feng Zichu's wrath? His entire raging flame heavenly palace would be destroyed. Long Chen, should you dare to leave, I will kill her. The palace master looked at Long Chen with a sinister smile. Despicable, shameless, countless people roared furiously when they saw this. Chu Yifen, have you gone insane? If you dare to touch a hair on King Shun's body, I guarantee that your raging flame heavenly palace will be slaughtered like a chicken, shouted Yu King Shun's protectors furiously. They had never dreamed that the palace master would dare to be so brazen as to capture Yu King Shun. By the time they reacted, she was already in his hands. Yu King Shun's gaze was also frosty. Rainbow flames burned in her eyes, and she stealthily began accumulating power. At this moment, the flames of her fury soared. She had an urge to immediately kill this palace master. Wei, Long Chen spoke. What surprised everyone was that despite Yu Qingxuan falling into the palace master's hands, his voice was calm. It was just that his flat voice seemed to come from the depths of a dark hell, like the murmuring of a devil god the question of a Yama king that directly pierced the souls. Shut up! Hand over your core flame, otherwise. I will kill her, declared the palace master. Everyone now understood. The palace master had set his sights on Long Chen's core flame. Long Chen's flame energy had been witnessed by everyone. When Yan Hong was slain, he shouted a name, I soul. Furthermore, a cold chill filled the air the moment he was killed. That caused everyone to think of the ice soul divine flame, an existence ranked eighth on the heavenly flame rankings. To be able to destroy the Yan Zhu flame and kill Yan Hong, it would have to be a supremely terrifying flame. In other words, Long Chen was in possession of the ice soul divine flame. Furthermore, a flame dragon had then devoured Yan Hong's core flames after he was killed. The palace master instantly grew greedy. He didn't even care about the raging flame heavenly palace. He only wanted Long Chen's core flame. Thinking of this, everyone was moved. Long Chen's core flame could actually use the ice soul's power and had devoured Yan Hong's flame. Anyone who obtained the flame would probably be unrivaled as long as they survived. No wonder the palace master dared to take such a risk. After thinking this through, a lot of experts stared at Long Chen. Their gazes also burned greedily. Dozens of late-stage world kings then surrounded Long Chen. Just like the palace master, they were moved. 
if they could obtain Long Chen's core flame and then go into hiding for a few ten thousand years, would anyone dare to make things hard on them in the future? Who cared about a sect? They would rebuild one at that time. They even felt some regret that they weren't the ones to capture Yu Qingxuan instead. Now, it was too late. Once Long Chen handed over his core flame, they would immediately start fighting over it. They definitely wouldn't let the palace master obtain it for free. Why not live a proper life? Why must you force me? Long Chen slowly raised his lowered head. When his head was raised, his entire aura changed. The dark energy that he had been bitterly suppressing erupted like a volcano. Chapter 3560Y Long Chen suddenly raised his head and roared. His voice was like thunder spreading throughout the nine heavens, causing the stars to quiver and the world to change color. At the next moment, sinister dark energy gushed out from the bottom of Long Chen's feet. It was like a devil that had been sealed for millions of years was now opening that seal. An ominous killing intent caused the heavenly dows to quiver. In just the blink of an eye, the heavens turned dark and that evil aura covered this region, turning it into hell. This novel is available on Noveloon. Calm Long Chen's eyes were pitch black, like two black holes. His purgatory eyes were finally fully activated, and his aura had completely changed, becoming gloomy, cold, and bloodthirsty. Gusts of wind blew through this hell-like world, and people felt a chill all the way down to their souls. The heavenly dows were stripped away, so this entire world seemed to have become a world of death. Ah! Uh, Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed. I'm finally out. I'm finally out. You suppressed me for so long. Starting today, I am the true Long Chen. All beings in this world must crawl beneath my feet. Submit to me and prosper, oppose me and perish. Long Chen's voice was icy cold. It was filled with a domineeringness that looked down on the nine heavens and also on all other lives. It was the voice of someone who took lives without feeling anything. The current him was truly like a devil god in control of the lives of all living beings. Long Chen suddenly looked at the raging flame heavenly palace's master, and the palace master's hair instantly stood on end. An intense sensation of danger made him quiver. All of a sudden, he directly let go of Yu Qingxuan and fled. Just as he fled, the black runes in Long Chen's eye circulated. Suddenly, a spatial gate appeared in front of the palace master, shocking him. But before he could react, he dove into it due to his momentum. After that, another spatial gate appeared in front of Long Chen, and the palace master came flying out of it. An icy hand that had been waiting for him caught his throat. Runes appeared all over the palace master's body as he struggled. But those runes all winked out of existence just as they appeared. His body then quivered a few more times in Long Chen's hand before suddenly stiffening and never moving again. How useless. You were forced to be in such desperate straits by this trash. If you had let me out sooner, I'd have long since swept through this world. Long Chen looked at the palace master with a sneer. Countless people were stunned. The current Long Chen was a completely different person. His aura was completely changed, and the black aura coming from his body terrified every single person. With a light squeeze, the palace master exploded in his hand without being able to make a sound. Save me. The palace master's physical body was destroyed, but his Yuan spirit appeared, still caught in Long Chen's hand. He shrieked. After that, Black Kai flowed out of Long Chen's hand. Like flames, it burned the palace master's Yuan spirit. People were shocked to see that Yuan spirit melting until it turned into nothingness. Everyone felt a chill. The previous Long Chen, whose power could swallow the heavens and slay Yan Hong, had been shocking enough. But the current Long Chen was even more terrifying. 
a seventh heaven stage world king didn't have the slightest power to resist in front of him most shocking of all was that long chen was clearly out of energy before this and was preparing to flee it was only due to the palace master using yu king chuan as a hostage that he stayed behind long chen was like a devil god in this state with black kai gushing out of him he seemed stronger than ever he was even more terrifying than the previous long chen boom suddenly the void exploded and a giant claw reached through the void smashing toward long chen with endless divine might what a this aura it's yan zu flame yan hung didn't die no this pressure is even greater than yan hong's everyone jumped in terror when they saw that heaven covering claw its flame aura was clearly that of the yan zu flame but the pressure that it exuded was over ten times greater than yan hong's you dared to slay my ninth brother ignorant life form do you know what kind of calamity you have provoked as the huge hand descended a resounding voice rang out with endless fury heaven and earth collapsed this attack was completely unstoppable even late stage world kings felt as insignificant as ants in front of this claw if they touched it they would definitely die he's yan hong's big brother people were shocked in other words this was another son of the flame sovereign furthermore he was even more terrifying than yan hong in the face of that giant claw long chen remained expressionless his black eyes were entirely apathetic as if nothing in this world could shake him long chen slowly reached out a hand toward that huge claw his divine ring vanished and his starry river was gone instead replacing them was a pair of eyes a pair of absolutely emotionless eyes that were like that of a god's Boom. two hands of completely different proportions clashed as heaven and earth were torn asunder a ripple spread like a blade cutting heaven and earth into two layers moreover people could see fragments of space-time flying about in the air and freezing they saw the world slowly split apart and then overlap each other when the broken parts of the world layered on top of each other an even more terrifying power erupted a black ripple once more spread in every direction forming a region of death within this region the void was destroyed the world was being destroyed and repaired over and over again as a result those late stage world kings that had been intent on taking long chen's core flame were directly blasted to bits although they fled as soon as they sensed something off they were still too late not even their yuan spirits could escape that darkness yan zu world ten thousand daos returned to one suddenly a furious roar rang out and black flames condensed into millions of chains that sealed heaven and earth long chen instantly became trapped by those chains black world no laws no heaven long chen form hand seals and shouted as well after that black kai gushed out of his body and a mark appeared within that pair of eyes behind him those chains instantly exploded on contact with the black kai coming from his body transforming into runes the ghost sovereign's mark who are you that voice was shocked and enraged it actually recognized that mark behind long chen who cares a h bastard what are you doing stop long chen suddenly clutched his head and roared painfully you useless trash you aren't qualified to control this body long chen roared the darkness in his eyes gradually receded ah uh, infuriating that damn bastard that big brother of yan hong's he made me use too much power i can't suppress him just wait next time i will kill you that icy voice let out an unwilling furious roar by the time his voice faded so had the black kai long chen's eyes returned to their normal color boom just then the shattered chains once more shot toward long chen after that 
Long Chen formed hand seals, and his divine ring appeared once more. Get in here, 